and standing over it, a red creature covered oh, in eyes and mouth. No. What? Oh no. Oh mm-hmm. no. Oh, it's a lot of mouths. I think I've detected something rather frightening. <laughs> I need everyone to roll initiative. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Bur- oh god. Different day. It's a different day. Hello and welcome oh, yeah. to episode 12 of Who Lives Who Dice. My name is Matt Bateman. Welcome to the show. It's great to have you. I'm joined once again by the sublime Ooh. Sasha Burgoyne, the glamorous guy Samuel, the resplendent Rose Red on, Ooh, the triumphant Cheryl Burdiston, <laughs> <laughs> and the devilish, delicious oh. debonair David Cox. <laughs> I like, that got me so much I actually forgot how to breathe. <laughs> You got three and one. This whole mm-hmm. show is just those two flirting. It really, it really okay, is. Okay, okay, but the test game was these two flirting, and yeah, the last okay. episode was you two flirting. I feel like it I was not us flirting; it was her flirting with okay. a. Do you know how hard it is to watch girl. this? <laughs> After what we've been through. <laughs> what have we been through, guys? Hey, Blade Bros is in the world <laughs> now. Lot. You wait. You wait till the prequel comes. <laughs> the prequel when I release those. Awful, awful audio files to the to the internet. They are not <laughs> awful. Oh, the quality, yeah, technically. No, they're, they're, anyway, moving on. Hi, get in. So we do a little pre-show uh, Q and A where one member of the cast gets oh, to ask fuck. another. This <laughs> again. And, and they keep forgetting. I have such even a though we keep doing this. I have a middling one. No, I'm very. So <laughs> if you'd like to ask a question, uh, hit us up on social media or leave a comment in the description. Uh, like any good YouTuber, uh, like and subscribe, etc. All that good stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna roll a dice. And let's uh let's see let's see where it lands. Uh, just as a reminder, how yeah. does it work then? So are you one? No, one, one. two, three, four, five, six. Gotcha. Um, Which is why I'm never going to happen because we know Matt doesn't roll ones. Too shame. Because yeah. he rolled a one. <laughs> no. One. Four. <laughs> Again? No wait, they no. Show <laughs> what so, you count it? Alexi, <laughs> what is your favourite cake? Beef cake, sorry. High-headed high content here at Hula Jidai. <laughs> Favourite cake? Favourite type of cake? The man who doesn't actually need to eat food. Um, <laughs> Angel I, blood? Oh. <laughs> I am going to go with... He seems like a Victoria Sponge kind of oh, guy. He does. He does. Like he does. Yeah. He does. With Bland blo- as far Like as yeah. a human. Yeah. <laughs> with, a, with a Bloody Mary at least or something. Like, well, like, that's not a cake, is it? No, no, but like, you got to have it with something on the oh, side. Oh, sure. And actually to one called Mary, Mary, Mary just lay there. Kind of bloody Mary. Jam. Be, jam. Oh, bloody Mary. jam in the middle, right? You can yeah. like jam. It's like, the same reason he likes red wine. It's red. Red velvet. Oh, red velvet. Oh, red well, velvet. that was a bloody riveting question. So, on to the next. Literally, it's got jam in it. Maybe that's like... Yeah. Can I only apologise? <laughs> Saskia, what's your favourite cake then? We've oh, gone down this right. Yeah. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> marble cake, actually. Why marble cake? Why not? <laughs> Don't know why I did that. No, nope. good. All right. Well, uh, thanks for checking in. Please give us more questions so this doesn't happen again. Uh, <laughs> please so give us more questions. <laughs> more questions <laughs> We're really scraping the bottom of the barrel, We'll do guys. an audience question and then a cast question. It'll you can great. ask David literally... Anything you want. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, just Are you on medication, <laughs> David? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> How many restraining orders do you oh. have against you? <laughs> Not enough. Anyway. <laughs> Honestly, enough. it's quicker to name the people who haven't found restraining orders against They're me. They're sitting in this room. Uh, so Rose. <laughs> you're, you're thin. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Strapping, make yourself a drink. You deserve it. And uh, let's out find it. Ah, oh. it's doing so well. It's doing so well. Hey, you are still doing so Three, well. Keep two, talking. One, one action. Strapping, make yourself a drink. You deserve it. And uh, let's find out what happens next on Who Lives Who Dice.
and welcome <laughs> to episode 12. So, in the last episode, our heroes, uh, I want to say bumbled their way through <laughs> through the city, effectively splitting out the guards and smuggling out Amir. Um, guards quickly discovered the plot, and thanks to the quick thinking and quick work by Alexei, were quickly slain. Um, silently, and for the time, were caught completely unawares. Alexei then decided to feed on one of said guards, uh, by which eventually the bodies were discovered, and soon the town was alerted that a potential vampire attack had taken place within the settlement of the Painted Maze. Word was quickly spread to evacuate before any serious undead harm could come to the wider residents, and as the party gathered things and were leaving, um, a small group of mercenaries spotted D-22 shifting through the crowd. Quickly chasing them up around the corner of the alley, the party confronted them, um, and after a brief exchange, combat was entered into, with the party coming out victorious before the guard came in, settled it down. The guard captain, too busy dealing with the potential vampire threat, and really not giving a shit about anything to do with this, with bigger things to deal with, sent them on their way, much to the disdain of the others who limped away, while the party eventually left, heading out to the front door. With the night ahead of you and a storm cresting the horizon, the party is exhausted and weary, but travels in convoy with the rest of the settlements, northeast towards Milford. What would you like to do? So it started to rain. It just started to rain. <sighs> and we are walking with this convoy. Maybe we should just find somewhere to pitch camp and rest. Uh, I, I, I think it perhaps <clears throat> better if we could uh, see who's currently leading this convoy and uh, convince them to bring it to a halt to, to set up tents or something else that's only going to get worse. Do we want to be with all these other people or do we want to just find our own little space? I, I would say if we stop reasonably close by, but um, not, not too close, we should be able to uh, have some privacy, but the numbers will keep away predators and so on. Yeah, I would prefer if we stay together and perhaps Isolate ourselves from the pack. We'll 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 do that. We'll uh, we'll set up our our own little camp yeah. uh, some distance away. Yeah, we don't know where those guys that try to take off with D are. Uh, Mayway, you, you you're you're perhaps the, the the best at dealing with people. Um, do you want to maybe try and convince the leader of this caravan to what, stop? take a rest? I suppose. Yes. Uh, I'll make my way up to, or I'll try to get to the front of the convoy, see if there's anyone who looks like they are bussing the arrest around. Sure, sure, sure. Um, it, it takes it takes you a few minutes. Um, like mm. a lot of people already left before you, um, and probably after a good fifteen minutes of working your way through quite thick crowds and groups of people and carriages, and there's not really a system. People are just sort of like yep. spilling out as quickly yep. as possible. You do. Yep. You make you make your way to the front, and uh, you see. Ha, sorry, sorry. You, me. you see a few knights leading leading up the front with sort of blue plate armor, sort of <sighs> leading it. All right. Hi. Sorry. Um, when are we thinking about uh, settling down to pitch for pitch camp for the night and take mm, rest? We're moving as one for convenience. We are carrying on to Aramild. Uh, we're taking right at the next at the next main fork. We're, we're, which way are you headed? Uh, we're going to Milford. Northeast. Well, we won't be heading that way. I believe we're just at the front because it's. Frankly, the best place for us to be if something were to happen. At the moment, the inside the painted maze, there was meant to be a vampire attack. Yes. And and just everyone's afraid. And I feel like if everybody rested uh, together, it might be a little bit less fearful. I, I believe. And looking back, there's there's a couple of thousand people in this sort of convoy, and it's, there's there's not much space for all to pitch their tents. I'm sure some may listen, but we're going to continue on. Is it just you or? Uh, I've got a group of friends with me, right. and I just try to see if I could find someone. I mean, you're a knight. I was hoping you'd be willing to help and protect, help us I well, already have, and, and you look back. He's got a few people sort of like on horseback with him that look a little bit injured, look, look like some sort of like quite busted up warriors and a few eye patches covering swords and stuff, and these, these are in my stead. Not looking to take a rest anytime soon then? Uh, I mean, no, we're not. we just rain. started 20 minutes out. We'll be, we'll be fine. And right. he, he taps himself, and his plate armor glows a deep blue and his eyes flash an amber yellow. All right. Well, I bid you a good journey then. Of course, of course. I mean, we'll be along for a little bit, but in about an hour or so, we'll probably split off. If you need anything, please come and ask. All right. Would you be opposed to my convoy joining yours just for safety? Not at all. Not at all. If you can keep up. I'm sure we could. Good, good. Thank you. 
Uh, you may see me again soon. Take care. And what I'll, was your name? Sorry. I'm Mayway. Mayway. Varsal. Varsal? Varsal. Sir Varsal. Sir Varsal. Pleased to meet you. Thank you. My flash and my smile and tip him in and wink and go back through. Cool. Um, also, as I go back, I'm going to look through... I'm going to look for other com large like clumps of people who look like they want to rest soon. Sure, sure. So you, 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 you make your way through. Um, there are like some quite young families, young, young sort of kids and stuff that are quite upset, bundled on blankets, some quite makeshift carts and everything else pushing through on, on the back of that as well. A lot of, a lot of merchants. Uh, you do see Solomon sort of like with quite a stubborn horse, I think is the best way to sort of put it. And like slowly, like gently, you can hear like the clink, clink, clink of glass in the back as he makes his way across some quite broken road. Oh. Like it's a bit rough at this, at this point. Um, but he isn't really paying, he's sort of just focused ahead and trying. It's just him. A lot of the carts have two or three people, Solomon by himself. Um, make a perception check for me. Natural one. Natural one. Uh, cool. <laughs> what you don't see you nothing. <laughs> is Donovan Demoli on the back of a grey camel, happily jaunting along. Neither of you see each other. Why would you tell me if I don't see it then? <laughs> Narrative effect. Narrative effect. You dickhead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but beyond that, you don't really see anyone else of note. All right. Um, that point. And you get, um, you back, get back to the crew in about five minutes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I see Solomon. So I'm going to... Oh, yeah, of course. ...staff and say, Solomon, are, are you okay? Oh, lady. Hi. Hi. Are I'm, you all right? I'm, you're I'm, on your own. I'm doing all right. <coughs> you're, on your, you're on your own? It's just me. Do you need help? I wouldn't say no. All right, uh, we're here. I'll be back with the rest. Oh, thank you. And I will... Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Rush back to find the rest. Like. Right, so we can go and travel with the night to the front, and they're going to stop for a rest in about an hour. They've got a convoy of people they're guarding. But I found Solomon on his own, um, and so we should go pick him up no matter if we go meet the knights or not. Uh, yeah, 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 yes. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll all head to Solomon now, and we'll... All right. Forwards, follow me. So we picking up Solomon as part of the group? Yeah, why do we need Solomon? We could just protect him right now until he goes, in, like, until daylight at least. Sounds like a burden to me. Didn't he give you potions for cheap? Didn't you make friends with him? They weren't particularly cheap. Uh, yeah, yes, my, Milo and I uh, were rather uh, good at being... Social. It was, it, was, it was rather fun. Also, he did uh, use a lot of his resources to create the potion to heal Tarskia. Right. So I, I feel that if if, uh, if there is anyone we owe a debt to from the Painted Maze, it, it would be Solomon. And at least just, yeah, in the darkness? Mm. I don't know. Mm. So Perhaps he like would die anyway. Say. Maybe. <laughs> but do we just... We risked a lot right now just to help you simply because you're our friend. Surely we should do the same thing for someone else, moral compass, right? Correct. Let's do something nice. All right. Um... Uh, I'll lead them back to Solomon. Right, do we want to go and travel with the knights for an hour? Or do we want to try and speak, find a family who will pitch down with us sooner? I don't think family is going to be much use for us safety if we're worried numbers. about safety and mm. numbers. It's only one more hour, right? Is Scooch it? on for an hour. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so there might be uh, people coming to a, a, a natural stop when the, the, the convoys di diverge. All right. Mm. Uh, Master Solomon. Uh, Master Alexei. Uh, lovely to see you again. Oh, you too. Uh, uh, you, no, 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 come on. Come uh, on. Do, you, do you require assistance in some way? <laughs> well, the sitting horse isn't really... Doing me any favours? Um, are you any good with animals? No. Okay. Uh, Marla? Uh, are you any good with animals? I mean, I'm very good with animals. But... I can't... talk to the horse at the moment. Uh, it, can, you, can you do anything to d soothe it in some way? It, m it may just be a little skittish with the storm. Do you have any sugar lumps? Um, I think I've got something in the back, yeah. Or apples? Got an apple. You tried feeding the horse the apples? Oh, no, I can't reach. I've got very sore arms. Have you tried stroking it? Yes, but it's very wet. It's not really working. Mm. All right. Come here, come here, come here. And she's going to sort of, like, walk alongside it, like, with its muzzle and everything, and, like, we'll fetch some little treats out the back and, like... Yeah, make an animal handling check. Along. Um, 
I'm a druid who's really bad with <laughs> animals. Um, I'm not actually, but that was a truly appalling roll. Uh, seven. <laughs> <laughs> like it spits out the apple. Really? And it just clops on and like speeds up a little bit to get away from, from the apple. <laughs> Saskia, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> I'm just scooching on quite miserably in the rain, to be honest. Yeah. I have to really do some sort of umbrella, but um, <laughs> I, yeah, just gonna scooch along. Need some rest soon, yeah. so I reckon we should stick with the nights, and then in about an hour or so, get some rest. So just sort of meandering. Mm. Yeah. D twenty two pops his umbrella up and just sits underneath an umbrella. Absolute prick. <laughs> there is a room for a second if you want to. He's right. <laughs> Moral compass. Hang on. <laughs> Would you like to join me under my umbrella? You look wet. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Okay. Damn it, should never have asked. <laughs> Solomon puts his hand up and then puts it back down again. Gingerly looking. Oh. <laughs> God damn, why am I so emotionally weak for these characters? <laughs> cool. Was there anything else you wanted to do as well? Um. Gather everyone up, go up to the nice if we want, some kind of consensus, some yes and no, I don't give a crap, I would just camp on the side of the road right now. I'll be, I'll be heading towards a destination that we are looking for anyway, with part of this convoy. How far away are we from? We're heading to the church between here and Milford. How long will this take? Uh, I, 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 I'm not in, in, entirely certain, but the, the, the convoy will diverge in an hour. Uh, which should take us to roughly around midnight, I suppose. Mm -hmm. uh, that might be a good time then to settle down. I imagine quite a few people will be before the parties split, so to speak. Have a sleep, mate. Y yes, I, uh, I'm quite tired. Uh, Master Solomon. Yes. Uh, the, the the Church of the Raven Queen are on the yes. way to Millbrook. Um, M Milford. Milford. Sorry, yes, I, okay. I, I'm very very tired. Uh, is it, uh, how far is it? Uh, it's not too far from here. I'd probably say probably another couple of hours after this. Um, I don't know if they're open at this time. Oh, oh no. No, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'd say, I mean, we travel along this road and then we join the main road in about an hour or so. Mm. And then just if you're heading up northeast towards Milford, you'll, you'll, the Raven Queen, the, the temple's on the way. And um, where is it you're heading? Uh, I'm not sure, to be entirely honest. Um, I, might, I might try and make The dwarves seem to like some of my stuff or I might head down to Thile. Solomon, did you bring anything with you to sell whilst you're here? Uh, oh he, he says, yes, I did. And then he hits a pothole, and you just hear broken glass oh. in, in, in the back of the... Uh, in the back. Buddy. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a no. small poof, like puff, puff of yellow smoke pops out, and suddenly his carriage is a bright beacon as he casts daylight. Accidentally, uh, for about 80 feet, suddenly there's this bright light against the night sky. <laughs> oh, that's... Um... Sorry, sorry, I don't know. Starts packing it, and the horse, freaking out a little bit, starts to like trot a little bit faster, trying to get away from the very bright thing suddenly following it. Shh, 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 shh. All right. Um, sorry, I'm a bit of a liability. It's okay. Um, I'm sorry, I can't help more with your horse. That's okay. You tried your best. I'm walking near the front, and I just try and soothe the horse as well. Just cool. automatically put a hand there. Animal handling check. Yeah. Ah, natural 20. Oh, nice. <laughs> Immediately, the horse calms down at your touch and it just like nuzzles into you a little bit and just senses the warmth of a, of a friendly, good good creature. I look back uh, at Milo. That wasn't like, sarcasm, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, so I'm looking at Milo like. Very good. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> Thanks for teaching me. That's okay. Cool. Oh. Cool. I'll come over there and hug you right now. Don't even. 45 minutes later, the road starts to widen a lot more and splits start to appear and parts of the convoy seem to start bearing off. The majority is still going sort of forward, but there's, as it's thinning out, you can see the nights up ahead are starting to slow down and scouting ahead for a good place to sort of stop for the evening. Um, what would you like to do? Well, if they're scouting for a place to stop, I imagine we're mostly going to stay around for them. Mm -hmm. Seems safest. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't write down the fucking knight's name. God. Borisil. Sir Borisil. Sir Borisil. V-O-R-O-C-I-L. Uh, if it's the sort of darker it's getting, I'd maybe a little bit further back from the horses not to spook it again. Uh, Alexi will activate the sun and moon shield to yeah. create a bit of extra light. Good as God. Good as God. Yeah. Cool. 
Uh, and as you canter down, you hunger down, you get to a clearing and the knights sort of pull in and a few people join them, most seem to be willing, just wanting to get out of the rain. It's not very sheltered. Um, there's the odd tree here and there, still very, very dark, but the knights have stopped and are making a very sort of makeshift camp at mm -hmm. this point. As you, do you wish to join or carry Yeah, on? we'll be like nearby to yeah, make yeah. our own little circle, yeah. but so we're still in like clumps of circles, yes. but Can not I like hunt around and see them. if I can find somewhere good to maybe with some things to our back that's, you know, nice and kind of... Uh, uh, as long great. as we are reasonably close to the large group, I, th I think that'd be good, yes. See if we can find some good bushes or a ditch or a big tree stump or something yeah, like that. Yeah, perfect. Yes. Would you like me to cast alarm to make sure that no one from the group tries to trespass well, on our Once we get property? there, yeah. Once we find it. Remembered. Cool. It's mostly grassland, but if you want to make a survival check, um, yep. yeah. Myla's doing her best to feel useful. Oh, Ooh. natural twenty. Natural twenty plus six. Now and seeing, seeing, seeing where the knights so. set up, they've found themselves in a dip, which shields them against a lot of the rain and stuff that's coming through. And the direction that the rain is coming, they've managed to find a quite dry spot, and are now managing to light a fire. And there's a very similar spot, about forty feet away from there, with a small stump and stuff that you guys can use for support and keeping your bags off the ground, nice and dry. Mm -hmm. right. one. Yeah, hair looks good. Uh, all right, we'll, uh, we'll 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 set up, and uh, well, I suppose. Watches would be appropriate, and just in case, uh, I'll. It's sort of my fault that we're doing this, so I guess I'll take the first one. Yes. Right. Do you want to set alarm really as well? I would happily set alarm for our security if you advise. I'll yeah, need to get rest first. I'll cool. set up with Alexa. She'll do a different, who, she'll do a different watch. I'll yeah. set yeah. next watch. Location. A few hours. I'll set up with Alexa. Great. All right. Uh, so it's quite dark, but. Both dark vision, so either one with advantage or both rolling. Um, I would roll? say you're probably better at this than I am. Um, shall we both roll? Uh, yeah, sure. Perception, right? Perception, yes. Natural 20. There we go. How's that? <laughs> rolling. Eight. <laughs> Which is almost a natural 20. Yeah, almost, <laughs> but you almost. Yeah. Go, go. Oh. <laughs> so I don't know what's happening over there, but I want the other three hunger down quite quickly. <laughs> yeah. But you sit and you keep watching. You two share share a little bit of life. You watch the knights conjure a small blue flame, which seems to crackle with a bit of a little bit of electricity, and they sort of sit around and they're cooking something. You seem in quite good spirits considering everything else sort of around them. You hear some loud laughs and everything else, but beyond that, nothing else disturbs you. The odd carriage moving past, the convoy you can see just in the distance. It's still the stream steadily moves down over the couple of hours. You're keeping watchful. Cool. Mm, yeah. Mary yeah. just looks around and watches all the shadows cast from all the people in the different little campfires and just as a, with an with an aid of on perception is just kind of somewhat hypnotized by that, thinking about other things. Each flash of lightning you just you see your own shadow mm. looking back at you as well. Yeah, I like to see you well. <sighs> um I'd say the natural 20 makes sense and that he is the height of paranoid right now <laughs> and just his gaze keeps flicking to ever anyone that's nearby just to see if anyone is looking yeah. you know when like the bright light at the corner of your eye is catching you or like you've got a gif open in slack or something and it's like yeah, it's like, yeah you, you sense that movement every time it's oh no it's just the night oh it's just the, oh, it's just the night yeah yeah every time but cool. yeah you're you're safe yeah. as far as you know yeah and he will stay deathly silent the entire time mm -hmm. all right your watch comes to an end who would like to take the next one I'm how, much, my, how much sleep, need half as much sleep. So like eight hours eight yeah to get what full full yeah Cool. Saskia's still asleep. Is, and, and, and a watch is what, four hours? Two. No. Two. Watch is four hours. So, so oh, it's six cool. hours of sleep and then two hours of watch time is, is fine. So as long as it's eight hours of uninterrupted rest, that's, that's all right. Okay, cool. Yeah. And I'll have it. Sorry, I'm not going to punish you for like, no, you, yeah, you stayed really up. Yeah, I'm really aware that I've got like, <laughs> I'm low, very low right. on hit points. So. It's all right. Okay, okay, cool. what, I think we've done it is sort of like watches almost like semi-count. Like, yeah. okay, I only cool. need four hours sleep anyway, so I'll happily come and take the next watch. So only if like something happens to you, then it, yeah. then it resets. Okay, yeah. fair. Cool, well, I'll jump up with you then. I will I sink anything. down into my meditative state <laughs> and think Oh, about... and that means I've had my long rest already. <laughs> two Is hours? Me? Oh, no, two hours. No, I haven't. Yeah, cool. Think about the past. So you, you both stir. Oh, hey, you two get some rest. Yeah, uh, Alexa oh, doesn't say anything, just... Gets up, walks over to his bedroom, gets into it, and turns good, around. Good watch, guys. Thanks. Hmm. <sighs> He's hey, definitely you don't need to do us. that. Yeah. It's okay. That's exactly Thanks. what Mayway sounds like. <laughs> 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 you 
pounds a little bit, but Keith's meditating. <laughs> uh, perception checks from both of you, please. Yeah. 17. Cool. Um, 19. 19. Once again, everything seems fine. There's a lot less traffic now. Most people, it's about maybe 2, 3 in the morning. The nights are still awake, mm. keeping a very consistent watch. I think the, the idea of, well, a vampire spooks them quite, yeah. quite a bit. Um, still yeah. cooking food, and like a little bit of the meat wafts across to you. You catch a little bit. Your stomach rumbles a little bit, not really knowing when the last time you ate was. All that. Mm. Oh, that's good. I mean, I don't really eat meat. Yeah, no, you, yeah. God, I'm hungry though. Um, I mean, I could go over and ask them if you we could have some if you'd like. Uh, why don't you sit here? I'll go and okay. I'll pop over. Yeah, yeah, cool. So, so any corn on the cob? Oh, yeah, last. <laughs> um. Hi, guys, sorry, that I don't mean to disturb Ooh, And, like, you. immediately turns and oh, has a spare... Oh, but... cat. Sorry, I just caution, from... like, it's dark. Yeah, absolutely it's fine. You just... Stop <laughs> just from over the way. Hi. Just, oh, what is that you're cooking, that uh, smells? Just, just a bit of pork. Nothing. Delicious. Yeah, do you want... We've got plenty. Would you yeah. like some? Oh, I, yeah, if you've, if you've got yes, something spare. Yes, of course, of course, spare. of course. Oh, thank you. Or some. Appreciate and that. The knight stands up and, mm. you know, out, out of his armour now, quite a broad-shouldered, and you see a oh, tall... Dreamy. Same amber eyes, <laughs> very dreamy, very handsome, square oh, jaw, hi. slight beard, um, and a shock of <laughs> quite quite short military cut, a little bit longer at the front, and a shock of blonde hair sticking up front as well. What? Hi. Most important. Hi. Yeah. If you've got any pork, that'd be great. Yeah. Thanks. Um, What's just your name? some pork, and um. Uh, <laughs> um What's your name? Oh, my name is um, Katie. Katie. Yeah. Uh, Morrisall. Oh, nice you, to meet sorry, you. Sorry, you look you look quite familiar. Like an old, an old friend I used to. Have. Oh, <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Where are you from? Um, just not far from here. Just um, just over east a little bit. Oh, east. Yes. East. Oh no, I have, I have a friend down down, down in Baymore. Oh, oh. Um, no, I I've, I've not heard of that place before. Oh. Yeah. Uh, do you, actually, I'm not. <laughs> sorry. Suddenly not hungry anymore. Don't no. don't worry about the pork. That's yeah. Do you want, you're you're all right, mate. Actually, I'm just gonna go and get some rest. You look after yourself, yeah. You sure. Yeah. Got some corn on the cob here as well. Slowly walks away, slightly panicked, and just sort of sits back down. With um, can I just get a Lila. deception check from you? Please? Yeah, of course you can. Pew 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 pew. Seven. Cool. <laughs> he watches you walk and leaves. Huh? Okay. Katie, was it? Yeah, Katie. Cool. See you later. Oh, they didn't have uh, any leftovers. Oh. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long day, in it? <laughs> yeah. You know how you um, mm. told me that story about the homeless family you'd come across oh, and... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And that wasn't true. Wasn't it? I'm mm. getting the sense that maybe something similar is going on right now. Oh. Yeah, no, there's no homeless family. No. no. <laughs> but are you okay? Fine. Still watching you. Every now and then, you keep you keep glancing over, you keep catching each other's eyes and looking away. Can I see whether or not there's any food left over there at the moment? Make a yeah, make a perception check. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> there's no food. <laughs> there's no food. The direction the wind has picked up that it's blowing the other way. Now you can't smell it. See anything? I sworn there was corn on the cob. <laughs> there was butter. Um, Myla's just gonna like uh, sit there and get like a drop of, of rain and start like moving it back and forth between her fingers, like that. <laughs> Please stop doing that. 
Is she going to do it with like, her nose? <laughs> Minor. Are you sure there's nothing wrong? Oh my god, if you ask me one more time, I swear to god. Okay. I'm going for a walk. See you. And she just sort of meanders. I think she constantly keeps an eye on the knights. Sure. Doesn't Are you walking far. towards them, away from them? No, it's sort of like sort of parallel to them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doesn't doesn't want to like she's she's not running away or anything. She's just sort of meandering about and sure. yeah. You wander for a few hundred feet. You sort of come to the edge of a tree line. Uh oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why are you there? <laughs> uh -oh. Can she walk to not a battle map? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then she turns around and walks back. Yeah. yeah. Battle. <laughs> <laughs> Thinks about what she's done. <laughs> Here's your call on the cop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about being snappy earlier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah didn't mean like, it. Oh, I'm doing this so early, I suddenly <laughs> think this is a terrible idea. I'm so sorry, I was a bit grumpy, bit short, here's your corn, I've got my pork, we're all good. Protect me forever. <laughs> <laughs> the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Damn it. And you realise you feel the lightning come before it strikes. Every time you can almost like, you could click your fingers and you feel like you know exactly when it's going to hit. And you don't know why. As you click your fingers, lightning strikes you, and you find yourself launched about 90 feet straight ahead, suddenly reappearing in a different spot. You shoot across. Unharmed. Untouched. <laughs> well, that's new. Feel your hair standing up on the end just a little bit. And she's just going to walk back to the spot she was in. Sure. Just going to keep getting these concerts. <laughs> you concentrate this time and pick a direction. You snap your fingers. Same again. <laughs> exactly where you intended to go. The thunder reverberates around you. As you turn around, you see Vorisil. Yeah. Sup, B? <laughs> Ooh, oh, look, look at this dude. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty <laughs> sick. <laughs> So, Katie. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. Impressive for someone there. Artiste. Knew a friend who used to do something like that. Yeah? Yeah. Who are they? Uh, a page from a different book. Similar. Different chapter, maybe. I haven't seen them in a long time. No? No, they ran out. They flashed out, it seems. Wouldn't happen to know where they are. I, mate, I don't know what you're talking about. Deception chat. Fuck yeah, that. Twelve. Twelve? You know how we get this? And he points at the blonde hair, and you notice a very similar colour to yours. We're not like them. We're special. What makes you so special then? He clicks his fingers. <laughs> his. Ooh, Ooh. Right in front of How do we mate? <laughs> he steps back a little bit. <clears throat> Could teach you how to harness this. 
I mean, I don't really know what's going on right now. So I... He never told you, did he? No, tell me what. Why he left. How was your dad? He was a little bit pig-headed, but he got the job done. Yeah, I don't really know him, so... Shame. Really? You take after him more than you think. Excellent. Not really interested, mate. Alright. Seems like a bit of a shit. I don't want to be anything like him. Okay. Well... She starts walking away. Just Slowly. Watching. Slowly? Not really. She doesn't know if she wants to get away, if she wants to learn cool. more. Or... He's not He's not threatening, he's got no yeah. weapons on him, it's just, it's just the mini. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, uh, <laughs> of he, walks, he walks away. Yeah, he, he just watches you in the rain. How long do you know him for? Good 12 years. Long time. Back in Vescott. Once. Well, back in Cord's glory days. How'd you meet him? On battle. Fought alongside him. Shame, really. You got cold feet at the last second. Met a girl. Didn't really believe in the fight. Clearly it's worked out for him, though. Right. Where is he? Do you know? I don't know. I don't want to know. I'm not interested in knowing who he is. Cool tricks, though. Good night. Night. See you soon. Hope not. And he watches you leave. And you wander back to camp where Myla is still waiting. Sorry. Oh, hey! Hey. You're back. Yeah, sorry for earlier. That's, um, that's all right. Just, you... um... Uh, the weather is wet. <laughs> Fuck me, yeah. Myla is pretty fucking wet. Yep. <sighs> Where's Cyril? Oh, he's under my little sort of scarfy yep. thing. That's like a little drowned rat. his head back. And he is he's soaked. <laughs> He doesn't look sad, he's not, you know, he's used to the cold, but he's just dripping, dripping wet. You don't mind if we just sit in silence for a bit, do you? Oh yeah, no, 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 that's, that's totally fine. You sit. You watch, for the rest of the watch goes off. You do see Varasaur shortly. Come back to camp. Doesn't look at you this time, just goes back. Sit to the fire. And, and waits. She's just, she's in two minds about what to do. Half has just got along absolutely fine, not knowing and not wanting to know. And I guess now that opportunity's arisen and she doesn't quite know whether she should take it or not. She's scared. So now she just overthinks <laughs> for the, next, <laughs> the rest of the, rest of the uh, night shift. I think she just sort of sits and thinks everything. Cool. And your worry turns to tiredness and before long to sleep. And do you sleep or do you stay up? Um, I mean, I wait till like the end of... Yeah, sort of. <laughs> yeah sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just sort of let her, yeah, like... Oh, we'll it this some way. Um, <laughs> do we not have cards? Yeah. And I are great um, <laughs> D... Oh, yes, you woke me. Yeah, you're doing much better at that. It's going really good. Thank you. Um, did you set the alarm thing round us? Yes, nothing has been detected as of yet. Okay. We are Can safe. I go to sleep and you'll wake us if anything happens with yes. your alarm thing? No problem at all. Will we all hear it or just you? Just me, but if I hear anything, I will inform you all straight away. Promise? Pinky promise. 
Hm? <lacht> Alright. Good night. Good night. Hey. Where was the Smith's shop? The Smith's shop? I do not know the answer to that question myself. Were there lots of them or just one? Lots of what? The shops. The shops? I do not know. I know where one of them is. Do you really? Mm-hmm. A shop that sells dismissed products? Yeah. Have you seen any other disposer bots? And why not? have you not mentioned this previously? <laughs> I haven't seen any other disposer bots. Right. And I didn't really know that it was the same thing. But it was mentioned a lot today. Mm-hmm. And I suddenly wondered if maybe it was the same one. The same shop? The Smith make a number and variety of fantastic products for the consumer. One of them includes MarketBot and DisposerBot45961. I believe that part of me is from that range. Ah. Though I've never been to a Dismith retailer. Well, um, if, you, if you ever need to, uh, there's, there's one up in the Val that I know. That would be how you say FANTASTIC! Very interested in doing that. Yeah. Not a problem. Um, I don't think I know, I knew much about the shop otherwise, like I just no. knew it was there, yeah. No. Fine. It's just, uh, something on a high street yeah, you walk yeah, yeah. past, yeah. Yeah, well, anyway, night. Good night, and sleep well. Thank you. Pretend snore well. I mean, snore well. I mean, sleep, do your thing, well. <laughs> and yeah, Myla will like, settle down. Cool. Lovely, make a perception check. Right, are you keeping watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are that's a, you? That's a fair question. <laughs> it's a fair question. Yeah, it's nice, look like there's some nice stuff on them. Maybe I should, uh... <laughs> Ten. Ten. Yeah. Though I have got alarm, so I can... I've got 30 feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, ten. Cool. It's all right. Yeah. Nothing seems to happen. And you sit. Umbrella. But the rest of the night goes without events. Eventually you watch the nights hunker down and fall asleep. And the rain eases off and is replaced instead by almost uh, rolls away. You can still hear it in the distance. The rain eases, but the thunder. It's like an echo to what had come the previous night. Mm -hmm. You wake up to dry storms. Still cold, but you'll get your long rest. Cool. That's very exciting. DM. Yeah. Have I ever, or has Mayway ever heard of the Discmith? Uh, make a history check. Natural one. <laughs> you know exactly where it is. <laughs> <laughs> what I do know is that anything that is like lower than the Lost Narema make is just trash. It's not the sort of thing so. you would find in the... Uh, not, pan not fancy enough. It's not fancy, fancy enough fancy. For, for the circles you're walking. Fucking second like natural one, you bastard. You're this I, I close watched to it the land jail. And then this roll. close to the jail. <laughs> the morning arrives, uh, and you notice the knights are gone. They've up and left somehow in that sort of four, four hour window. They've, they've gone and moved on. Um, <gasps> a few pockets of campers are also waking up at this point, but for the most part, most people decided to push on through through the evening. Um, but you're awake, you have some cheap food, feeling much better rested after <clears throat> the last few days you've had. The storm on the horizon, still quite threatening, but for this point, you're dry, albeit quite cold. What happens next? <sighs> All right, I guess, oh, just do like some stretches and shit. You know, warm up the muscles. Good morning. Milo's going to go over to oh. 
D uh, and be like, so now you have a very good reason to keep me alive mm-hmm. and make sure that nothing, you know, yeah, no, no wandering off in the night to attack bandit camps, yeah? Of course, my plan was to keep you alive for as long as I could. Or potentially sell you for high amounts of money originally, but now I've had a change of heart. I mean, given that that seems to be what happened to you, that's a fairly fair... Yeah. May I ask us if anyone in the group, if we have a gem left? I... What yeah. kind of gem? What kind? Yeah. I would like a gem or a crystal, ideally, so that I can make something to improve the group. Uh, I, I, we, we, we don't, um, we, we, we don't have any, uh, Crystals, exactly. Um, th- uh, some topazes. Uh, uh, I have a couple of diamonds. Uh, I think yes. I've still got the red lid here. You've still got the red lid. Yeah. yeah, but also not a crystal as such. A gem will be just fine. I would like to create a homunculus servant to protect us from in future escapades. What will it do? A homunculus servant has a number of benefits. <laughs> Such as... I was thinking, if I'm not mistaken, Dungeon Master, that this, <laughs> <laughs> that this homunculus servant um, can be created out of my hat and act as a mini D22 that oh can carry out a number of duties, including but not limited to droning activities, defence activities, and being a good friend. All right, well, that just sounds adorable. Uh, Doexy is just digging in his pack grabs one of the um, remaining gems that we got from Club Guts Place and just throws it over. Sure. Are we virtually on our own-ish people? Yeah, yeah, there's no one, like the knights are gone, the closest, there's maybe something about 90 feet away on the other side, but yeah, you're, you're, all intents and purposes, you are alone as far as you know. Before you go get into that, D, mm-hmm. um, just something I feel like we should probably try and cover in case someone else tries to show up and buy you. Yes. Or stake you or steal you. Mm-hmm. Ownership papers. Maybe we should forge some ownership papers for you. In yes. case that happens again. I did not realise I needed ownership papers. Me but I'm aware neither. of the process of ownership papers. And how you don't really need them, sell them anyway, wink wink. And um, I think I... I no, no way, I don't really know if I understand. <laughs> but I do know that if they come back with the buying papers of that. We kill them. We could also get past killing them by having our own ownership papers, just and then we fake kill one. Them. Uh, if we have to, I suppose, but we could just talk our way out of the whole thing by having some fake papers with mine or Myla's name on it. Do you have like a serial number on you? Yes. Could we change it slightly? Perhaps you could amend serial number, though this is a gross violation of Disposer Bot's process protocol. Mm. So would you prefer we didn't do that? I would not mind if that makes things easier for you. (laughs) 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 Maybe that's something we should think about. Turn a three into an eight. Oh yeah, the two six four nine two eight six four nine one eight five six D twenty two. Yeah, there. Yeah. That's spot on. Yes. I don't even know how I remembered that. <laughs> <laughs> but we could, yeah. That's an option as well. It's just, uh, I guess there is no one quite like you. And he said there weren't very many like you, so... Well, yeah, but what if they'd managed to make another? True. And they would sort of say, oh, yeah, we've got the paperwork here, and they would show you the number, and we could be like, aha, that number is nothing like this one that actually has a seven instead of a one, and an eight instead of a six or a three. There's a lot of eights probably going to end up in this. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I agree, but also to... Before I met you, I wasn't aware that uh, Warforged could belong to themselves. And ultimately, no matter what your number is, if it doesn't look like anyone owns you, then anyone could try to take you again. Mm-hmm. So maybe a fake owner is a good idea. Yes, if you would be happy to be an owner in name, that is fine with me. Just to protect you. I think that might be a good idea. It has to be But obviously it's it's your choice. 
it, 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 it just, and Alexei isn't actually looking up, he's just writing something in his journal. It, it uh, logically, it doesn't make sense if it's my like with your standing in the library, it, that that's more believable. Oh, I've yeah, only, I'm, I'm nobody. I've only had one owner, as far as I know, but oh, who it, is your owner? it was one owner who then said he was no longer owner and more like what people call father. That's um, all. Well. As far as I'm concerned, you are your own owner. But if anyone ever tries to take you away, mm -hmm. then I will step in to defend you. That but feels we nice. We need some papers to attest to that. Yeah. Particularly if we go back to the vow. Let's get some fake papers. Right. <clears throat> Saskia, you seem sneaky, actually. So either are you too good at forging stuff? I'll give it a go. I'm sure I could make some tinkering tools. Perhaps make my own papers. Might I suggest that we actually find a professional for such a task, uh, especially considering that... Um, could your homunculus do that? My homunculus I could not do that. I feel you have it <laughs> entirely Maybe if I say point. he can, he'll be allowed to, but Will there be it looks like no. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't know. I've. I've, I've never been. But it's moving a big town. Well, I suppose we'll find out. I can make a history check if you want. I can tell you. Okay. Never get a history though. No. Ooh, natural one minus one. You've ah. never even heard of it before. Mill what? Okay. <laughs> More like Nilford. <laughs> Because it doesn't, don't worry. Uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> one more of those, and I'm DMing the rest of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone found that funny. Someone found that funny. <laughs> Alexi will just pack up his stuff and stand. We're well, going to go to church. Hmm. Um, yeah, let's go to church. This sounds fun. Is that something. Is it fun? Church? Uh, I, I, I don't, um, I, I, I've never uh, set foot in one. No. Oh, so it's new for you too? Y yes. It's not fun? No. Oh. That's kind of boring. Oh. Why are we going then? Why are we going to church? Well... They have lots of money. Well, ah. well, well I was um, in, uh, in, in the, the, the portal. Uh, I... Uh, what? Oh, yeah. I, I saw a... I was back having a... A conversation with my my sister, uh, my eldest sister. What's her name? Uh, Leandra. Leandra, it's a pretty name. She's a bitch. Um, <laughs> we. I oh, take it back. What a horrible, disgusting name. <laughs> uh, it, it it was when she uh, advised that I cease my uh, studies into um, the condition, and. Uh, my, my, my family has the belief, and the voice goes way low. Sure. You are like, completely alone. Like, is it super alone. deep yeah. or yeah. whispering? Yeah, like, yeah, whispering. Like, okay, <laughs> cool. Not like grandma. Hello. Yeah. Like who? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Alex, yeah, Alexia will kind of just <laughs> lean a bit closer. Uh, we, we, um, we, we don't quite know why we're like this. Uh, why are you like this? <laughs> the... The belief, the rather the long-held rumour, is that uh, it is a, a gift from the Raven Queen. Mm -hmm. But we, we, we don't know how or why or anything like that. Uh, for some reason that escapes me in every possible version I can think of, that, that portal affected me and it didn't affect anyone else. So I, I, I need to find out why. I, oh, no one else went through the portal. Saskia did. But I mean, it affected me great. Yes, but you didn't emerge starving. I was about to die. Well, that's because I'm not a vampire. Sorry. Well, I, that, to I church always, then. I always thought you were sort of, you know how there are other kinds of elves that aren't snow elves? Yes. I always thought you were a human, but like another kind of human. Is uh, that not... A case. variant human, if you will. Yeah. Uh, n n no, I'm, I'm, I just look human. We, we, we're not. So you're not human at all? Uh, I think. Sorry. Of, I, I think I, I was at one point. I, I, I don't, I don't know. It's when, 
when when a when a car staff is born, uh, we are I think we're human, and we're given the gift. But it, it must have been so long ago. I I, I can't quite recall it. Mm. Why is it a gift? Uh, from how you describe it, it sounds like a shit gift. It does sound like a shit gift. Because I won't ever age. I, uh, I, I will look Neither like this. Neither people that yeah. you drink their blood from. And you get die. to live a life where you kill people and are hunted. That's a great gift. You have to understand that it's not as simple as just... I kill people and I'm hunted. I'm the first cast to have to leave Coldhaven in... Generations, we what we don't leave our home. We, we, we have a place where we have supreme authority, total to do power to do whatever you like within the confines of Cold Haven. Have you been to Cold Haven? Have you been to anywhere else in the world? Uh, well, yes, I've been traveling around for a while now. Yeah, with me. There's so much more to see. But you, you don't understand. You want to go I've, to the veil. There's so much. Power. We control everything. The the the, the uh, Garen Springs. The other the, the settlements surrounding the town. Is that surrounding. Because they're scared of you because you might drink their blood. No one knows. Are you a bad guy? Power ain't everything, honey. That is a very silly question. If if I were if I were a bad guy, and morality and uh, genius being obviously, you know, entirely unrelated facts, then I I wouldn't say it, would I? I'm not a bad person, no worse than any of you are for eating meat. By that logic, the only good person here, yes, I'm getting to you, is Myla, who refuses to harm animals, will not eat meat. I don't even particularly like meat. It's barbaric. You don't, I don't need to eat it, so I don't. Maybe we could break the Castair family curse and you could live a human vegetarian life. I'm, Is it a gift or a curse? I am 115 years old. What? Really? So young. How old are you? 126. <laughs> she wins. Ah. Uh, if... If Man I, might be older than me. No, I'm 120. Oh. If I break this curse or return this gift or whatever metaphor you choose to use, I could simply just die. We'll oh, like age suddenly really, really quickly yes. in one go. Yes. Yeah, that would be bad. Yes. We could break the curse in Pan Stubbs' cavern, so if that happens, we just chuck you through the other end and you get young again. I'll kick you through. Or maybe you need to never bring that up again. <laughs> maybe I don't want to. Yeah. Mm. That's understandable. I like being like this. It's difficult, and this whole new life is horrifying, and I'm not supposed to fucking be here. I'm supposed to be at home. Then why are you travelling? Because I'm not allowed to go home. Why? Why aren't you allowed to go home? Because I am experimenting with all of this and they refuse to allow me to do it. The things which I do, I do them, I can do them because of my, my abilities, because of the gift. No one else in my family can do the things I do. So let me get this right. You're part of like a well wealthy family yes. in a place called Cold Haven. Yes. And you run the place. Well, my Ms. Leandra does, but yes. So you just the bit. run a town. Yes. And your uh, family do not need to drink blood like you do? Oh, no, no, they, they, they do. Then why is your gift different to theirs? Because I experiment on myself. Interesting. Whose yes, blood do they drink sick. if they don't drink the, the blood of the, the people oh, no, they we, we, Oh, we absolutely do. We're just, oh, uh, definitely a bad guy. We're just very good at hiding it. And power How much... is the most important thing to you? Well, Carstaffs have ruled Coldhaven for generations. How much money does your family have? Um, more than you're worth. <laughs> <laughs> About ten times, probably. <laughs> I, actually, it probably is around that, maybe a bit more. It, it, you know, it, I mean, how do, it's money and power that not... Oh, so mm. good. Nom, nom, nom. More Sorry, money, that's more problems. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. More money, more problems. Um, no, objectively, no, because you just pay someone to take care of your problems. Interesting. D22 sits back, his brain's just whirring too fast <laughs> to understand. Um, I, 
Now, any further questions on this? It's not a question, honey. Just, I, I hope that with this travel, you can gain a different perspective on the value of power versus freedom. You left because you wanted to do these things. <laughs> that is not why I left. Well, you weren't allowed to. I, they threw me out. So would you give it all up and never do it again if they would let you back? If I could go back in a second, I, I would. I wouldn't even hesitate. And never practice your um, hemomancy again. I, I do not know what I would do if faced with that choice. But I could not stop... I do not like it when questions are unanswered. I, 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 I need to know, and to have such a thing that, that we just ignored, it, it, it seemed foolish. And that seems like an answer to the question to me. Does I miss my home? Who does? Anyway. Um, I don't. <clears throat> Never? No. Nope. Never. Why didn't you like it, though? It's cold, isn't it? Yeah, but would you oh, really no, like you know, cold? Just, you know, yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's just, you know, it's a bit boring and cold and... You don't have anyone there who you miss? No. Do I believe her? In such a... Persuasion another, or deception, depending you, on what you're being. If you roll another fucking one. Okay, better. Okay. 19. Oh, Myla is absolutely lying. <laughs> hmm. You have nobody you love. Nope. No family. Nope. Well, Brothers, yes, but sisters. You know, yeah, the uh, family, but don't miss them. You know, it's just it's nicer to be out travelling, and and I prefer, yeah, prefer being around all of you. Don't you all prefer being out and about? Yeah, I guess. But home isn't without its charms. Oh, but it's so much less stuffy. <laughs> Very true. Hmm. So, as the conversation carries on, what would you like to do? Are we walking and talking? Yeah, I feel like we are definitely yeah. going <laughs> maybe, towards maybe. the church. Like, all right, yeah. let's leave. Let's, let's get out of cool. bed now, guys. Cool. So, you know, after after a couple of hours, you do come to quite a large fork, um, and there's, there's a bit of traffic each each way. Most people seem to be heading towards Aramil and towards one of the main dwarven settlements, which is probably a couple of weeks' march from here. Um, you see a sign northeast pointing to a couple of towns, but Milford being one of them, um, estimating about a six-day walk um, on foot at a pretty consistent sort of pace. Um, there's also a, a signal there for the Temple of the Raven Queen is also on this route as well. Just... Happy to carry on on foot? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Great, yeah. good. Um, did I uh, register that I'm creating my my Yes, there? yes, you did. Yeah, yeah, that's completely Perfect. fine. Uh, what are you naming it? Uh, TBC. Hello, no, I am TBC. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> How may I serve you? I'm thinking maybe or D23. Oh. Quite nice. Oh, um, D23. I was thinking D22. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, D, uh, D2, because D- he's little D2, D2. Yeah. little 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 D22. Yeah, D2, please. D2. Yeah. D2. Hi. How can I serve you, master? Ah, you work. I think so. Yes. Brilliant. Yes. Yes. Please. Calibrating. May please may you take calibrating. The form. <laughs> please may you take the form of my hat. Processing. <laughs> Cool. Uh, yeah, and so you managed to build it into the hat, and the hat now has two little, I guess, eyes on the top and like little legs. So it tucks up nicely when you're not using it, but when you are, it can it can pop off by itself as little legs and walk itself around. around. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically like, like this wide brimmed sword just walking around if you're not if you're oh not careful. God, fantastic. fantastic. Jesus Christ. All right, I'm like done. Uh, right. Cool. Um, so you're on you're on a more or less a main sort of path. Um, who is leading the charge and what is the uh, march you want to please? Uh, and who's you doing the checks? Super Mario Odyssey. Well, unless anyone argues, I think because <laughs> Alexi desperately wants to figure this shit out, he's going to be at the front. Okay. Do you want a help 
help figuring out? Oh, just, just keeping um, an eye out for things? Y- y- yeah, yes, please. Cool. Sorry, Saskia. At the back. Slightly the back. in her own world a little bit. Yeah? What are, you, what are you doing? What are you thinking about? Just thinking about everything that happened previous night. Mm-hmm. And this guy popped up. And like her entire life, she hasn't come across anything to even remotely hint at her dad. And she thought she could just sort of, like, just forget about it. And mm-hmm. she knew that one day something would prop up, but she wasn't expecting it to be here and now. So she's sort of taken it back by it. And she's just trying to process it all and doesn't quite know what to do with the information she's she's been given. Or if she wants to seek out more, she's not sure yet. Sure. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right. It's, it's a path, but just in case, I'm going to get a survival check, please. 17? 17, yeah. Good God. Uh, 18. 18. Okay. The sky is clear. Um, for a moment, the thunder has now rolled off completely, and gr- small hints of blue do start to sneak into the otherwise quite dour grey sky. Um, but after a couple of hours of pretty consistent walking and a little bit of conversation, but but not much. Um, eventually, the path splits off from the main road, and you find yourself on a dirt track, which is very well worn, and you see cartwheels on on either side and, and tracks throughout. But as it twists ahead, you do see a large and dishevelled minster greeting you from the horizon, with dark features set against the darkening winter sky. As you enter the compound, broken statues and fences litter the perimeter. Though run down, they do create a crude barrier. The minster, impressive from a distance, loses a lot of that initial grandeur as you approach. Chunks have fallen from the roof, several holes can be spotted across the face of the structure, and thick mould and plant stuff sprout from almost every crevice. And the already moody greys of the sky seem to intensify the derelict and somewhat depressing sight. It barely appears to stand, let alone function, as an important religious site, and were it not for the few individuals you see in darkened robes carrying out their duties, you'd be forgiven for believing it entirely abandoned. You walk in and they, they stop and they politely nod and bow as you approach. Uh, if anyone wants to make a perception check. I'll go for one. Yeah, I will as well. Give it a crack, why not? Seven. Seven. 23. Cool. 12. So with, with a 23, you notice a couple at the back seem to be whispering in hushed excitement at the sight of Alexei approaching. Maya's going to elbow Alexei. <laughs> That, 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 that was right in where you hit me with the thunder wave. Mm-mm. Oh, I'm really sorry. No, no, it's it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I was I was trying to make a joke. Oh. Ha. Ha. Um. Uh, those people uh, there are whispering. I think about you. They seem to be quite excited about it. How, how can how can you tell? Because they're looking at you weirdly and going. <laughs> people seem to look at me weirdly all the time. So no, Saskia looks at Alexi really weirdly. See. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's looking Normally at you... Only it's women too, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> there's looking at you like that, and then right. there's looking at you like that. Right. Oh, okay, I suppose I'm going to go and say hi. Would you like someone to come with you? Yes. I could join um, you if you like. Um, are you <laughs> going to off try and buy anyone? No. I will be there for your support and your support only. Right. Um, actually, quick, quick point um and again super quiet yep how about we just on a general note don't mention the whole condition yep what condition ever ah the... not even like you know just just because we're get, getting a little bit too loose with it and it freaks me the fuck out mm-hmm. right okay great um right uh the the, the one right these ones yep. okay how about every time he mentions his signet ring we're allowed to mention the condition <laughs> <laughs> so how much you that he can't hear that shit <laughs> you approach the front of the minster um, and an older gentleman balding with white hair sort of crowning around the top and dark robes and yes my son uh, is this one of the two that was whispering as I feel no like? no no the no, ones at the gate that you're approaching and walking up towards oh okay right um, hello I, I I would like to uh, spend a bit of time here of, co- of course my lord uh would you be after Matron Efe? Uh, she oversees the running of the temple. Not not to speak at a place, but we have been requesting support from Abel Castile for some time. I've, I trust nothing has happened to him. Huh? Ah, um, right. I 
did not realise. Sorry you... to waste your time. I, I, I did not mean to speak out of time, but please, please, yes, come, come in. No, we've, I, been, I, I, we've been expecting for some time. I will inform the matron that, that you're here. You, me? Well, you are a cast off. I can see the signet ring. Yes. <laughs> um, drink. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, please do. Uh, do you have a, a place where my companions and I can uh, sit? Uh, to... Food. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, anything for you and your, your aides, servants? Uh, is there a title you wish us to refer them to? Uh, Sir. Bitches. They're, they're simply my companions. Companions? Colleagues? Fine. Very good, very good. good uh, can Winters. someone collect the matron? Um, she'll be with you down in a minute. Uh, please come come through. Excellent. Uh, the two uh, the, the two women will have uh, some uh, whatever Ooh, uh, stew that you have two. concocted. And, oh, women as well. Uh, <laughs> Some uh, fetch some wine as well. Uh, this one will have a, your best vegetable medley and whatever oh, you're uh, not. after. And uh, my warforged <laughs> requires um, requires uh, his joints to be oiled. Right. Uh, we will have some vegetarian options brought up. I'm afraid we haven't got much in the way of supplies. Um, as you can see, we've been lacking for somewhat. Hence, we're very excited to see you about, but. Please, do, do come inside and we'll, we'll ensure that things are taken care of. Um, may I ask the purpose of your visit as he yep. turns and leads, leads the way ahead. And as you, leading you through, the interior is far worse than the outside. Snow is falling and dripping from build-up through the many cracks in the high ceiling. Boards appear to keep out the worst of it, but even they are succumbing to the elements. A pile of bodies wrapped in grey linens neatly are stacked against a wall. A young cleric, female and elven in appearance, frantically reads each one their rights placing a hand on each forehead as acolytes quickly take it away to be buried or cremated. A statue of the Raven Queen herself stands above the main chamber. Though grand and somewhat imposing, <clears throat> her hands are covering her face as if she cannot watch to, to see what has become of her sight. The pews are broken and mouldy and similar, sort of broken. Um, it's been some time since we've had someone visit and we wish you would arrive sooner to... If we knew you were here sooner, we would have... Sorry, I'm very nervous. If we knew you were here sooner, we would have cleaned the place up somewhat. I, I do apologise for the state of it. <coughs> um, but you'd be pleased to know the regular retainer has been put to good use, but we would like to petition to reduce your funding, as it isn't quite covering what it used to. I'll get the matron. I'm sorry, I, I, I do fear I'm speaking out of turn. Thank you. He, he dashes off and leaves you five alone to speak by yourselves for a moment. Y yes. They know who you are. Yes. Alexei, why does everyone treat you with such respect here? It is unusual to see. Uh, why he's there? Because I'm, I'm, I'm third in line. He's very important. I'm Ooh, third in line third of in us, line. of of my home. Is Abel uh, your father or your brother? Oh, that's uh, history check. Yeah, I was going to say. You have to do a history check on your family. No, <coughs> that's two. <coughs> me. two. Wait, two plus six. You would, you would know that. Potentially, if it's a lesser, it might be one of the, the lesser cast arms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, like, um, being in a, and being in a dump like this, logically your brain can put two and two together, mm. even with even with that lower roll. Uh, probably a second or third cousin. There are a great many of us. Also, uh, with the ages, it gets very difficult to tell uh, who's a cousin, who's my uncle, who's my niece, who's my nephew. It, it's quite tricky. Abel, I don't recognise the name. And your sister's name is? Leandra. Leandra. I remember you telling me about her one night. She's the attractive one, right? No, no, that is Hazelmere. Ah, oh, Hazelmere. Mm. Nice Another name. pretty name is she, but is it actually a bad name? Uh, the less I speak of her, the better. Is um, she pretty as in hot? I remember, I think that, I don't think he described her as such, but definitely that, yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay. As you're discussing Alexei's sister. Um, <laughs> Alexei rubbing his temples. Uh, you, you see an, an older woman, um, larger in, 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 in simple robes, um, approaching, uh, who you put to be matron Ethe. An older human, probably in her late 70s, or maybe late 40s. A weary and exhausted figure greets you. <laughs> Her simple dark robe stained with years of dust and dried blood. The dark feathers adjoin adjoining her cloak, rumbled and misshapen. A thick chain hangs from her neck. Small glints of silver can be seen under the years of grime that now encrust it. The symbol of the Raven Queen, um, the same hooded figure similar to the statue nearby, though worn, appears to maintain most of its shine. Lord Karstoff, 
Thank the mother herself. I, I do not believe we have met. Has something happened to Abel? We have not seen him in near two years, and we were beginning to fear the worst. We've been sending his money by, well, courier for some time now, and frankly we're worried that we've been forgotten. Um, but, yes, yeah, sorry, you're, 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 you're very busy, of course. Um, right this way, and your aides, if they wish, is, is it the purpose of your visit? Uh, I, I wish to, uh, well, uh, uh, I wish to uh, deepen my understanding of the Raven Queen. Of course. Uh, what, what are you failing to understand? That, <laughs> that is more of a, uh, a, a, a private matter. Of course. Private for your, your aides here? Uh, my, my companions are, are somewhat aware of the matter itself, but yes. I would rather... Uh, you said that you have not seen my cousin in some time. Not some time, no. We have not received word from the guilds. The places in shambles, frankly, we're barely on our last two feet. The support we've received on the regular retainer has been minimal at best. And when did you last hear from the duchy? Oh, every other month or so we receive some letter explaining that they can't get more money. Hmm. I've been petitioning for some time, but thank the mother, we, we do make do. And Abel, what was the last thing he said? came in, collected about six months in advance, and from what we pay, and uh, that's the last we saw of him, really. Every, every now and then a servant comes in to say hello and check in, but no, it's, it's much more us. A servant? Yes, yeah, an aide or someone, I, I'm not too sure. It's different every time. Usually like a, a, a young a young farmhand, sometimes, like Burley. Just pop the head in, say hello, walk out, <coughs> once every couple of months. When are they next to you? Uh, I think we had one. Maybe in about three weeks from now. If we're lucky, sometimes they don't come at all. They usually come to collect the money and not much else. Do you have a, 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 an address or a location of sorts that I can follow? Uh, well, no, we, we don't. Last time we checked, the last known place was uh, halfway towards Milford. Um, near, near the small, small village, near the Green Basin. Um, towards the northeast, but yes, we haven't really had much. Uh, I shall investigate. Thank you. I, and would you petition the guilds for us as well? Uh, we do desperately need, and I believe with your weight and sway, we would get things back. Uh, I can, of course, make no promises, but I will see what I can do on your behalf. Very good. Um, right, well, if you can petition. Um, since you're here, so I give you your funding now. Um, how much is it? That's, well, I believe that monthly is about 320 gold. For your services, for the arrangement. Oh yeah, the, the services. What, what services are those again? My companion is training in the ways of administration for the house. The ways. Very good. Yes, I'm, um, well... If, uh, you may, may I speak? You may address her directly. Uh, I am well, simply uh, auditing. The Don't you worry, honey. The, the Castor family is charged with the servant support of all sides of the Raven Queen. It's, I assume that is why you're here. You're here to inspect and discuss, correct? Good. Um, I do have a service as well, if you aren't too busy. How much are we talking? Well, I've already paid. Um, I mean, no, the service. So we can stay yeah. at the service. Do you, they uh, pay you, or you pay them? I'm not following. I mean, we, uh, don't, kind we of, pay them. Kind of both. So work I was you. hoping they would be paying us. Hence my confusion. So the duchy sends out a retainer to the greater site, and then yeah. we in turn use some of that. But some of that is also sent out to the castarves that represent us. Right. Uh, yes. So Your half duchy. for them, half for us. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. We shall attend the service, yes. Very good. Um, well, as you can see, we are rather overworked, and sadly, uh, some bodies were forgotten, uh, and because they were not given aid quickly enough, I'm afraid something has happened to them. Not undead, um, though some strange creature has sort of in infested... Um, what kind of strange creature? Uh, we, we're not sure. We sent an elder cleric in there about three weeks ago and we didn't hear from it again. We've had to bar the wing. Um, the sounds that it makes tend to send people into madness. Oh, 
Yes. That's not um, ideal. We could use the space. It's not ideal. Um, if you wouldn't mind. We can certainly investigate. Uh, this please, problem. yes. I'd love to. Yes, then we shall uh, tend to that after the service. Very good. Very good. I trust that no one has a problem with staying here for a time to help. No, no, I know. At all. I'm intrigued. It doesn't sound like we're getting paid. We Would just you did. like us to help? There's, I see that leak in the room. Just stares. <laughs> if there's anything you can do, please, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could go up and have a look, see if we can fix the hole. Yeah? Yeah. And, uh... Want a hand? The, um, I can't remember a title. Sorry, 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 sorry. The sorry, matron. Sorry, sorry. No, not the matron. I know what I'm doing. Hold sorry, on. sorry. Hold on. Uh, the magistrate also has uh, expressed wish that you use uh, this month's particular funds to uh, revitalise this place. Very good. Does the magistrate provide extra fund? Uh, you may use the, your 320 gold there. Oh, that's very, very generous cheap. master cut stuff. Thank you. Oh. Right, I shall. Right away, right away. <laughs> and, um, wait, wait, wait. The magistrate wishes that such things, obviously, if we do this for one, Abby, we must do it for all of them, so. Queen's the, Raven, Raven Mum's the word. I understand. I was <laughs> never here. <laughs> Understood. That. Sorry, which cast off? Well, I didn't actually catch your first name, Lord Cast Off. If, if I may be so bold, please do not. Hazelmere. <laughs> Ooh, forgive, did you actually say that? Yes. <laughs> no. Forgive my companion her terrible sense of humor. I'm gonna be an accountant. <laughs> what? Shit. I would ask you keep your servants in check. Uh, they speak out of turn. I know Abel had a far harsher temper. Hmm. You're not going to, no? no? Oh, I shall. Please do not let me stop you if you need to take care of business. I do. Now, uh... Yes, of course, of course. Um, shall I show you where the creature is now, or...? Please do. Yes, of course, please, come with me. Um. <laughs> Alexi, let's go. No. So, she leads you down the stairs and into... No, 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 no. Uh, lead you downstairs. Gonna find some creepy shit. I'm getting a real Castlevania vibe here, <laughs> <laughs> Um, and you walk past, and like the same thing, there's the odd cleric or acolyte there, just like, there's a lot of bodies that sort of come through, um, that seems like this is more of a processing plant, for want of a better word, of, of everything else that, that sort of happens. Um, as you get closer, you do have <laughs> little sharp noises coming. I need all of you to make wisdom saving throws, please. What? It's low, low DC, it's alright, we'll just... 16. 16. Save, save. 16. Save. Oh, weird. Uh, 14. Save. Oh, 17. Save. You all save. You'll feel like a slight nervous panic in you for a second. You shake yeah. it off and the matron carries on ahead and... <coughs> that's, that's part of it. Um, <coughs> yes, so if you would be able to take care of it, kill it, we don't really care. We, we need the space more than We don't know. You have spoken enough. Oh, Alexi. Um, hmm. She stops. It's through this way, um, and she waves over a couple of acolytes come and like remove one of the big beams on the door and they open it up and a waft of death and musk washes over you into a dark room ahead. The smell is rancid. Old, old meat. And it smells worse than the leather straps you were in not 24 hours ago. I do appreciate this Lord cast off. We will, of course, this will be a great service to us and mean we can continue to do the service that we are petitioned to do. And she bows. I will leave you and your uh, well, people, to take care of it. Close and bar the door behind us. I will knock when we are finished. Very good, sir. She walks back. Um, yep. As uh, After I said that, I realised that I did something bad. And as they were having their interaction, mm -hmm. I would like to have taken out my little detective notebook. Absolutely. And cast detect thoughts to see if I just put us in the shit with that raven matron. Yeah, sure. Cool. So, just make a save, surface? I think. Yep, what's my DC? Uh, one second, thirteen. Uh, she rolled a two. Oh shit. Uh, her instant reaction is much more even-tempered than Abel. Why, why does he not punish 
for clearly speaking out of turn. And also... But when I said his name, she never... I mean Hazel Man? No, I said, oh, Alexi. And everyone oh, glared Oh, no, 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 sorry, I didn't catch that. No, she didn't, she didn't react to that. So at, it's at not all. in, like, must call them, no. must call them evil. No, nothing Excellent. like that at all. All right, cool. cool. Very good. Just slide the book back in to the door closes. Excellent. Oh, we diddly look in oh, other directions. Is. So... Is it pitch dark in here? The doors close, and you hear the solid thud of the door. <laughs> Lock behind you, and you are in pitch darkness. And you're like, <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Here? I'm going to take a break. <laughs> oh. Greetings, peasants. Alexi Karstav here. Uh, I hope you're enjoying watching me in the show. I'm doing a fantastic time this week. No, uh, we wanted to thank the people who all make the show so great. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> Uh, yes, 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 there is, uh, there is Erin Gray, who did a truly beautiful rendition of My Lovely Face. And everyone else. Uh, and, and them. Uh, there is Michael G- Gelf- Gelfi, I do this every time. Gelfi. Gelfi, yes, he does the, uh, the very heroic music that you see me being very handsome in. Finally, uh, who else do we have? We've got... There's Sticky Fingers, who does all the amazing maps that we get to fight on, or sometimes not fight on and immediately leave. Um, there's Loki Fellows, who also does amazing episode art, and she does all the show animations, which is, like, super, super talented. We also have that uh, the, the social media sorceress, uh, Tanya Garamani. What is it with people and titles? Honestly, it's so gauche. And uh, we also have Jeffa and Nate doing their uh, technical wizardry behind the scenes. There are links for absolutely everyone in the description. So you should go check them out because they're all awesome and really so much more talented than we are. Uh, I mean, than you. Welcome back. Hello. I'm already set for a fight because I think we're about to get into one. Uh, but before the break, our heroes had camped for the evening. Saskia had some conversations and learned some things about her past that maybe she didn't quite want to find out. <laughs> Discovered maybe a couple of abilities hidden up her sleeve as well, but I guess I guess we'll see. Um, he took the road, now heading towards Milford, and on the way, um, Alexi wished to visit the Temple of the Raven Queen. Upon arriving, they were... Warmly welcomed, much to the surprise of many people, none more so than Alexi himself. After a little bit of back and forth and learning what was actually required of them, the matron, matron Ethe, requested their assistance in dealing with a threat that had been taking place in one of the lower levels of the temple. Without skipping a beat, the party agreed and soon found themselves locked in a pitch black room with the smell of darkness and death wafting around them. So, Party without a name. I can create light, so I will create light on myself. Great. Um, how big's the room? What's that like? Well, the room—the room is about the size. Yeah. So let's let's start this then. Uh, what are the marching orders? We come inside. Uh, Alexi went first. Yeah, Alexi yeah, go first. Okay, first. So Alexi. <laughs> so you step out. I'll happily go second. I'm the tank. Tank, <laughs> tank. I think I do have the most hit points of everyone. Said. Uh, I have even more slightly more. Yeah. But you, you and I it. should definitely like more hit points, more money. Yeah, it <laughs> well, really is just the best. More signet to... rings. Yeah. More HP, more points. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Alexis is a single white heterosexual male. Of course, he's the best. <laughs> I'll bring up the rear. Giga. All right. <laughs> Giga. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, D twenty two. Yeah. Um, well, the only one, only one place we left to go. That works for me. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
fair. <laughs> uh, so I believe, yeah, so a small light appears from behind you as Saskia activates a slight golden glow, and you can see about 20 feet yeah. in front of you the smell of death, <clears throat> must, mold, dried blood. Mm, wafts right. over you. It's not nice. It's not nice at all. Oh, they uh, need to get some ventilation down uh, here. But Ooh. otherwise, the room is deathly quiet. Alexi will draw his rapier and just mark his palm while he's drawing it and um, cast the right of the dawn again. Uh, take <laughs> three points of jump over. Point. Here we go. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. sorry. At the same <laughs> point, uh, will activate the buckler. Okay. So, um, uh, for 20 feet, there is a very warm, bright light. And for 20 feet after that, it's dim light. Cool. Pretty sure I did that, but don't want that. Now you can move around. Yeah, you, you, you light up, and then Alexi like, just taps a shield and just like outshines yeah. yours completely. <laughs> Looking around, you can see planks and makeshift tables, and you can see flecks and shines of old dry blood, but... Make a perception check, anyone, if you would like yep, to. Sure. Uh, point of order, Mayway is actually like walking backwards, so her back is to all her friends, and she's just Oh, yeah, looking. sure thing. So it's just making sure that anything's going to skitter or melt or anything. She feels very cool. nervous right now. Thirteen. Thirteen. Cool. Uh, looking around, you see every single surface on this table. There's not a single body. There are rags. There's not a single body, just empty rags and bandages how far everywhere. Is that, how far is that visibility? That kind of visibility so, with Alexi, you've got, it's 20. So you can you can see to this wall, and then it cuts off about here. You can see, like, it carries on down this way, but you can't see deep into it. Okay. We'll uh, stay together and just make sure that nothing comes up behind us. Got it. I feel like detecting evil might be a wise plan I for feel me like and my compass. Well, what's the range on that? Thirty feet. Worth a try. Um, may I push myself forward by ten feet so I lead the not necessarily lead the party, but go in the front of the party? Sure. Give me a tiny bit more range and then mm -hmm. uh, cast detect um, good or evil, please. Absolutely. Uh, yes. <laughs> so you detect. Just to your right. <laughs> Strange voices echoing through the corridor. And as you look, you see dead husk of a body. And standing over it, a red creature covered oh, in eyes oh and mouth. No. What? Yeah. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a lot of mouths. I think I've detected something rather frightening. <laughs> I need everyone to roll initiative. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, bye. Oh, no. Bye, gosh, bye, golly. Oh, far. <laughs> <coughs> that was just such a. Oh, gosh, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> uh, bear with me, please. <laughs> Went from being mildly useful to completely irrelevant in one, <laughs> one, one dice roll. It's okay, D2 will do it. <laughs> yeah. D2 will save us. Send him in. He's got HP. Okay, initiative please. Uh, 25 to 20. Yep, 21. 21. Cool. Uh, 20 to 15. 15. 18. <laughs> oh, you're allowed? Yeah, that's fine. I obviously uh, 15 to 10. I'll oh. save you some time, that one for me. Uh, okay. 12. 12. 12. <laughs> Buddy. Nat 1, did you say? Yeah. Uh, what's your plus what? Uh, my initiative plus is. Uh, da, 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 plus 6. Nope, plus 4. Nope. Sorry. Over there. If it is, oh, damn. Plus three, it's plus 3. So 4. That's my intelligence, I just saw there. Yeah, plus 3. <laughs> That's yeah, right. It's his intelligence save. <laughs> I'm so smart, I can't see where I'm going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> was it an accident or was it... Uh... <laughs> so Excuse you me. look to your right and this creature slides over, undulating, mouse... Yeah. I hate it. 
<laughs> Sasuke, you're up first. What we oh, want to God. Do. Kill fuck. it with fire. Kill it with fire. Yeah, it's straight away. I'm just going to short just... the fuck out of that. I'd... Cool. You haven't quite gone there and you'll see you'll need to get out. Yeah, I'll, I'll scooch out. Yep. Um, just, yeah, and I literally only come around as, as much as I have to. Like, there is no cool. way I'm coming you'll out into that room. You need to step back to get the line. That's so fine, because then yep. I can. I want to hide behind <laughs> that fucking wall later. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, that's this is great. It's terrifying. So right, short bow. That's okay, I bet it only has like D4 damage. Did I die? Why would you say um, that? 13. 13. 13 hits, roll damage, please. It's gonna have low on That's a shit ton of health. And really hurt. Um, six. Six, th- oh, good roll, good for you. Thank you. Cool. Uh, alright. Anything else you wanna do? Yeah, hide behind that little wall. You want to tuck yourself in here? Absolutely. No <laughs> Except I'm fucking bright with lights. I'm like fucking. Yeah, hiding. you are. You can you can you can put it out, but uh, you can put it out now as a bonus action if you want. Yes, to. please. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> she dips around and suddenly it goes dark on the side of the room. Except for what you're casting at the moment, Alexi. Uh, next one, Myla. That's what the um, Cool. Right. So <laughs> first thing I'm going to do is, yep, yeah, the big blade of ice uh, comes out of the old um, staff. And then I'm going to cast. Jesus, this music is intense. I love it. Sick. Very churchy. Ooh, yes. Okay. Um, I am going to, in that direction, throw a fairy fire. So suddenly light up the area. Sure. Uh, what's the save I need to make, please? Uh, so it's a dex 14. Dex 14? Yeah. Uh, makes 14. 14 uh, saves, no. but it's got a minus one stick, so it's a 13, so it fails. <gasps> yes! So, um, it sheds light, so there's a light now over this big thing, it's it's lit up, and any attack roll against it has an advantage if you see it, and it cannot be Great. Uh, cool. Is that concentration, or is it just a straight? Um, it's concentration. Concentration, good to know. Thank you, thank you. Uh, right, so currently, uh, it's a scene, everyone has advantage on it. Good to go. Uh, right, anything else you want to do? Uh, no, that's no. me. That's me very dumb. Cool. Uh, just something else is going to happen. Yeah, it's a bonus. More of them. Something else is going to happen? Cool. Lovely, that's that turn. Um, oh. uh, let's see. Uh, uh, hang on, before you start, okay. I need you to make a Ooh. wisdom saving throw, please. Oh. J- just, just me? Just you. 19. 19, okay, you succeed. You feel that fear as you oh come in from the top gosh. and then you shake it off very quickly. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh no, okay, right. <laughs> Good. Alexi is just going to run at this thing and go to smack it with his rapier. Great, cool. Oh, uh, with advantage, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, with advantage. One, two, three, four, five, straight in there. Uh, that is 16 plus 5, 21. 21 hits. Okay, uh, I don't think so, but is it undead? No. Okay. That would have been. Oh, um, yeah. That, oh, you don't mind. know, but Doesn't. I'm gonna say it. It's fine. Moving on. Hmm? Um, that <coughs> is 8 plus 1, 9 plus 5, 14. 14! Of so damage. Cool, so you said 14, was it? Yes. Cool, uh, and is that piercing or slashing? Uh, uh, 13 of piercing, 1 of radiant. Okay, so it takes 7 damage there. Oh, it's resistant. You, you stick it straight through and it's sort of like... <laughs> and you pull it out, but it doesn't seem to do as much. Is that piercing damage? Yeah. Piercing damage on that. Um, uh, Alexa will get... Uh, no, uh, it seems resistant to the rapier. I, I, I suggest other tactics. Cool, good to go. Uh, anything you want to do? No, 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 that's going to be good it. Good stuff. Mayway, you're up. Stop it. Great. Resistance <clears throat> to the rapier. Fuck, not taking slash damage then. Yeah, no, I assume yeah. that means specifically the piercing damage. Yeah, uh, radiant was All I have. <laughs> Shit. No, you don't. <laughs> uh, punch it. Yeah, punch it. Yep. Yeah. Um. <laughs> all right. Uh, Mayway spins around and like dashes forwards as she's heard all of this begin. Yep. Um. Uh, how much movement of mine will it take me to get to in front of D twenty two? In front of D twenty two. One, two, three, four, five. So, 25 feet. Okay, cool. And I will uh, turn and just see this horrifying creature and um, pull my longbow out. Yep. And um, 
<clears throat> yeah, take aim and try and see if I can shoot it. Okay, let's go. Are <laughs> oh, you got advantage because it is very fired? A sweet, because that wouldn't have. Well, it might have hit. Uh, yeah, no, definitely like uh, 18. 18. 18 hits. Uh, yep, yeah. cool. And then damage is. This. Uh, eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. Cool. Uh, long goes piercing damage, so yep. it's gonna be halves to there. Four. Yeah. Uh, Great. Cool. Great. And uh, then for my bonus action, I'm just gonna breathe <laughs> and close my eyes, and I will uh, manifest. No wait. How much space is there between me and the whatever the the mouth blob? The horror. Uh, there is. 20 feet between you two. All right, uh, I'll take another step forwards then. Sure, that is all your movement. Yep, and I will close my eyes, take a breath, and uh, a manifestation of Mayway will appear next to the blob. So and I'll you manifest my watch echo. in the darkness. You're not sure if it's a trick of your eyes, but... This kind of... <gasps> Mayway looking figure. You have a shadow Mayway? Yes. Next to the monster. I and you love breathe, because this is the first time you've managed to do this. Can you describe what your shadow Mayway looks like, please? Just like her. It seems to step out of the darkness, and it's a exact copy of Mayway. And then she moves about a little bit on the spot and spins and has Myla's hair for some reason. Really long plait flips out behind her and Mayway's confused by that for a second but just holds. And that's my turn. Great. <clears throat> cool. The monster's going to go next. Are you ready for this <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does he go, does he go before me? <coughs> uh, he does. Yes, he rolled. Yes. Oh, of does. course. Yes, you, you, you did roll the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe the players go before the monster. No. 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 Cool. If only. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing you right in front, what it's going to do, it's going to go around and get closer. And then with the mouth on its back, it's going to attempt to bite uh, you. Wait, sorry. Is That's leaving... No, no, it's the, gone. It's gone one. Yeah, but that's leaving the melee range of my... Oh, echo. yes, you get an opportunity so to attack. attack of opportunity. Absolutely. Yes. Nice. Ooh, um, nine. With nine? Nine just hits. Oh. Wait, with advantage? Oh, with advantage, see if, you get a, see if you get a crit. No, not cool. Yep. Yep, cool. make an attack. Uh, D8. Uh, eight again, eight points of damage. Eight again. points of damage. You slash and seeing Ooh. it comes. Echo does. What happens? How does it how does it look when the echo slashes? Uh, she like spins almost like frantically like a ballerina or like really messily and the hit lands as she goes round. Yeah, and it just cuts straight through and it sort of <laughs> as the two bits split down the centre. It carries on undulating towards you, Mayway proper. Uh, but it's gonna take a bite attack against you, Alexi. Great. <laughs> Roll a three plus two for a five. Nah. <laughs> That's fine. Um, cool. But the other thing it's going to do is... And it leans back and it spits a globule of spit which splashes over you three. I need all of you to please make a dexterity saving throw. Wait, sorry. When you say us three. Uh, Me, Milo. One, and, yeah. two, three. This three, yeah. Oh no. Mm -mm. Okay. Nine. Oh, thank god I thought it was a one for a second, but it was. Seven. Cool. Seven. Fail. Nine. Fail. Eleven. Okay. Fail. All three of you feel this hot, sticky gunk hit you in the face, oh. and you are blinded. Shit. Shit. D22. Any damage? No damage. Oh, great. Okay, um, so. I am going to use my move to um, build an Eldritch Cannon, please. Absolutely. An Eldritch Cannon of Protection. Um, cool. So, yeah, on, a, on, on legs. 
Great. Right. Legs in front of me, pointed, aim, aimed at him. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, and I guess it's on my next go, right? That uh, that everybody gets a D8 plus my intelligence modifier. Uh, no, because you can shoot HP. it as a bonus action, as part of the same bonus action. Fantastic. Yeah. Is it built now, or do I have to wait? No, nope, it's built go? now. You can use it straight away. What? Sick. Okay. Cool. What is happening? You just dis describe just what that looks like for the rest of us, please. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Um, so it's kind of. <laughs> So it just come to me now. The umbrella, which seems like an umbrella, kind of comes out. The handle like, pops out from and breaks into two two legs, and there's a quick shake like a Paul Daniels '90s magic trick. <coughs> this golden, almost century style um, gun comes down, slams down on the floor in front of me, and um, and has a tiny beeping noise. Dim, 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 dim. Ready to. Uh, locked on him, though I can't see him, so I'm just guessing I'm gonna plonk it down right in the centre bit yep. there. You yep. can see him because no. you're still lit. Oh, no. blinded. oh shit! They're they blind. My bad. Yeah. My bad. Cool. Um, uh, and you can yeah. use you can use that ability, yeah, the, the temporary hit points thing as well. Straight away, great. Yeah, and, yeah. Every, and, uh, and everybody within a ten feet radius of me will get. So same, same three, and not you, Sask. Yeah, sorry. So that's right. eight HP. Eight HP. So you all get eight Ooh. temporary hit points for D uh, D22 Milo and Mayway. Boom. Fucking. Four Varellians. Yeah, actually. Right. We're all cool. Anything about. else you want to do? <laughs> no, that's it. Cool. Uh, that's, yeah, so that's, you that's, are blinded that's, until yeah. the creatures, yeah. until the start of the creatures' next turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. Back to the top of the initiative, though. <laughs> Saskia. Hello. You're up. Um, so, what can I see behind me on the shelves? Is there anything I can use? What's, what's on the shelves? Make an investigation check if you want. Yeah, okay, cool, let's do that. Uh, three, maybe let's not you, do that. You look through old rags, bits, bits of paper, but nothing. You can look in the hurried, oh. in the hurried list. I mean, old rags is fine. Can I... Okay. Oh, no, I don't... Mm. What I want to do is I want to... Um, I want to <laughs> set fire to this thing. Okay. Because I can see that... Um, it doesn't like the rapier. It doesn't. It doesn't care for it. And I've really got kind of got fuck all else to do. So I kind of want to set them on fire. But short bows. I'm gonna have to walk quite out quite wide, aren't I? To um, you could probably step out here and have a clean shot yeah. on the monster from this point. Yeah, you could shoot between between the two meter clear shot on that. Cool. Right. Like do that. I just happen to have a lighter? <laughs> no. Uh, you have you have a tinder box which you could you could you could spend an action to light a torch and then use that on the next turn if you want to. Yeah, I will do that because I, I, I I've got a feeling that this guy needs fire. Okay. So can I, um, yeah, using the rags and whatever I can find behind me, sure. can I can I create a fire, please? Absolutely. So yeah, you you grab a fire, you wrap it around it, yeah. and stick and you light it. And I'm fire. gonna stay behind the fucking wall. Sure. For now. The other thing, when you light the fire. Oh fuck's sake. You see. Oh, get in the bin. A <coughs> larger creature. Oh, oh no. Oh, I hate it. Cool. Stairs towards you. Do I? Do I? Can I now? Can I have behind, behind those two boxes? So I'm sure. hidden from everything. Sure. Sure. Uh, bonus action to hide. Yeah. Make yeah, a stealth check for fine. me, please. Oh, I'm pretty stealthy, aren't I? Yeah. Mm. Fantastic. No. Eight. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> I am pretty stealthy, but um. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, one of the eyes tracks you and sent you hide behind there. Yeah, I've also got fire, so you know. <laughs> You're hiding, it's just this little flame above yeah. the head. <laughs> Behind wooden crates of the fire. Cool. That's Saskia. Uh, right, Milo. Mm, I've got a problem, because I can't see shit, and everything I can do involves seeing shit. Um, <laughs> uh, first thing I need you to do is make a wisdom save for me, please. Thank you. Okay, cool. Oh, thank you, <laughs> uh, yeah. 20. So 20. 20, yeah, fine, not a problem. Oh well. Um, okay, Milo is just gonna be like, I can't see, I can't see. What shall I do? I can't see. Try attack it anyway. Uh -huh. um, um, she's gonna try and sort of follow along that wall bit. Th like, there's one right ahead of you. Uh, Milo, follow the sound of my voice. Oh, or his. Okay, yeah, she's gonna try and head like along that. She's gonna basically like put sure. her hand out. I'm gonna say you've got half movement if you're going. So cool, yeah. So like back to there. Cool. And yeah. then gonna presumably hear that thing next to her. <laughs> yeah. So she'll swing and hit at it. Um, cool. Is so obviously I have disadvantage on this because I'm blind. Yes. But there's advantage on attacking it because of fairy fire. So it's a straight roll. So it's a straight roll. Yeah. you you magically you can sense. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Lovely. That's what I like to hear. All right. That is a 17 to hit. 17 absolutely hits. Wonderful. Okay, so 
That's a D8, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doo, 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 doo. Ooh, lovely. Uh, 11 points of damage. Oh, what kind of damage? Uh, that is bludgeoning damage. Bludgeoning damage. I think. I'll just double check. But it's not... Um... You bring the staff down, and it cracks through, and the ice... Now it's... <laughs> and the ice freezes from your staff, and it locks in place. Did, did I get it? Did uh, I get it? I, I think so. <laughs> right, um... Yes. Focus on the big one. Bring it all down. What big one? Oh, <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Is it? <laughs> Shit. Right. DM, <laughs> is it also resistant to slashing damage? No. Okay, no, cool. Because the, gla- the glaive is slashing, so yep. it wouldn't have been resist. Uh, it wouldn't have half. I didn't. I didn't put resistance okay, cool. on that. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Cool. Uh, alrighty. So <laughs> the big one steps out or slides out or. <laughs> Out, oh, whatever you want to call it. So <laughs> much. Cool. Um, it's not a range, so it's also going to. Oh, and it's going to so make nice. a split. It's within 15 feet. D22, it's going to attempt have another. Another go at you. Sure. Uh, I need a dexterity saving for it, please. No problem. Oh. Just a straight roll. We'll Wait, away. where does this monster go in 15. the initiative? After my. 15? 15 succeeds. 15, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it hits, but it slides off the stuff that was already on there, and beautiful, you're all good. Lovely stuff. Cool. Um, great. That is its turn because it can't move. It can't really do anything else in the moment. Um, Alexi, you're up. How far away is it? From you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back. So about 40, 45 feet. Ah, okay. Uh, I will move. First thing, I need a strength check from you, please. It's just taking on Alexi, isn't it? Check. Yes. Not a saving throw. Check. Eleven. Eleven. You catch your foot and you realise where the creature had died. You're actually sort of glued to the ground and you go... You manage to stick yourself up. No penalty. Okay, right. Cool. Where would you like to go? Um, so, knowing this thing has a spit attack, I want to keep on the other side of the room. So, um, to Mayway's far left. Yeah, um, cool. basically, like full movements, try and get as close to that thing as I can. Seven, <laughs> you're not quite in range there. Okay, can I stop a couple squares back towards me then? Sorry. Yes, yeah, sorry. Right. Yeah, because I know it's moving very slowly. <clears throat> yeah. So I don't want to put myself in its range. No, completely fair. <laughs> completely, completely fair. All right. Uh, anything else you want to do? Uh. I, I would say Alexi is just going to uh, call out just by, uh, focus or fire on the big one uh, uh, Mayway uh, just, just uh, keep doing whatever you're doing uh, Milo I could use you over here 22 whatever you can fire at it mm-hmm. Saskia I hope you have some idea <laughs> <laughs> and his turn Jim the camera great cool um, Mayway you're up you're um, still blind Great, a big one that I've heard like this. Oh, fuck. All right. Um, can I do like a perception check to try and see if I can hear where this thing is? You can try. Yep, you like can try and locate. listen out for it. Yes. Okay. That's, uh, uh, bu- 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 uh, 16. 16, yeah, you hear that. <laughs> In the back, yeah. Cool. Um, I. We'll breathe and just close my eyes because I can't see through them anyway. <laughs> and I will, bonus action, I'm going to manifest Echo and she's going to reappear next to it because um, it's within 15 feet. Alexi and Sasuke, you see this? And a puff and then appears right next to it in range. Um, and then I, how close am I to it? You are within striking distance on that point, yeah. You're within five feet, so. No, 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 me. Oh, you? No way, not the one, echo. One, two, three, four. You're about 25 feet. Uh, I don't have that much movement left because I'm a summoned her, so I will attack from the echo's position. Yeah, no problem. He's in my pretty echo uh, I'm still going to say disadvantage because you're still blinded. But she is not. She's not a creature. <laughs> nice. Uh, disadvantage, though. Mm. Oh. Uh, um, da, 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 14. 14 hits. Yep. Cool. Echo flail. Oh. Oh. Um, plus five, so it's uh, six. Six? Six slashing. damage. Six slashing. 
Cool. You 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 cut into it, and even through the echo, you feel the resistance as it comes through. But it's a good clean hit, and it did it did the damage. Um, cool. Uh, one second. No, go. Sorry, go. No worries. D twenty two. You're up. Um, um, also, as your turn comes around, the last of the slides off, and you can see again. Uh, the blindness is worn off for all of you. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Good. Perfect. Um, I'm going to tap my homunculus servant hat, who's on my head, and have him just fly. D two ready. <laughs> <laughs> um, please fly above my head, um, covering covering my head from any potential sprays. Okay. It's just, yeah, a nice angle. Cool. Perhaps. I'll give you advantage on the next saving throw if that happens again. That's complete fun. Free action on that. Perfect. And then um, I'm going to yep. firebolt. Big what? Big blob. Please. Firebolt? Yeah, sure. Uh, make an attack roll for me, please. Beautiful. <laughs> 18. 18 absolutely hits. And then we've got one uh, D10. Oh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me, please. Sure. Wisdom of saving throw, it, fucking hell, four. Four. So that's a failure. Oh no. Uh, roll a d8 for me please. Oh, oh god no, no, he's gonna go mad. What have I, what have I got myself What's, into here? Who's he gonna shoot? <laughs> Don't. With five. Yeah. Five. Uh, cool. You do not take any action or bonus action. That <laughs> gets inside your very soul and suddenly your brain goes confused. Um, you instead do do do. You're not frightened, but suddenly you feel a very strong desire to run. Two, three, four, five, six, and just heads running away in a random direction. Wow! And that is your turn. Cool. Done. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wisdom saves. Top of initiative, Saskia. Um, Saskia's gonna pop up. Hello. Um, she <laughs> has wrapped some rag around her, um, around an arrow. She set fire to it, and she's going to um, shoot this thing. Very cool. And hope the fire will, I don't know, do something. Great. <laughs> that's that's the aim of the game, anyway. Get in the fucking bin, mate. What'd you roll? A two plus six, eight. Why is all with the really cool shit that I think of? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking, what I mean? My ideas, my roles. Uh, eight, eight misses, sadly. Yeah, uh, the the arrow flies. Brilliant! I've just set fire to the thing. <laughs> See a small flame appear in the back, and another. Three hundred and twenty no, gold. We'll fix that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, anything else you want to do? Hide again. <laughs> Let's go back behind my thing. Stealth check, please. Oh, what? Sorry. Stealth check. Oh yeah, sure. I'm well stealthy. If you were right. hiding, shouldn't you first roll been an advantage? No, because she failed a stealth check the first time. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get two again plus six? Six. Oh, yeah, God. you rolled a nine, so even even Gibbery boys seen seen enough. Um, <laughs> cool. You yeah, you're just out. Yeah, you're fine. That's all good. Cool. Uh, right, <clears throat> Milo. Um, okay, so the last thing I'm now not blinded anymore, right? Correct. Okay, so Milo is going to run. Alexi asked if he could, she could help give him a hand, so she's gonna like run down uh, to where Alexi is. Yeah, um, and be like, okay, what do you need me to do? Um, and like, as she's saying that, uh, she will like throw out the end of her staff, and a giant beam of light is gonna hit uh, this thing. She's going to cast Moonbeam. Fucking cool! Um, so that is a constitution save, DC 14. DC 14. I'm going to roll some D10s. Uh, that's a failure. Oh, roll a 7 no. plus 3. Ha 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 ha, some D10s. Uh, that's 9 points of radiant damage. Ooh. 9 points of radiant damage. <laughs> yeah. That's less than half of what it could have been. Looking across, oh. you see this beam fly out, and Saskia, this also looks a little bit familiar to you as well, the, mm -hmm. the orange glow that sort of comes out as it blasts, and... <laughs> as it takes, and you see a large scorch across its chest, taking out half of its jaw. It also stays there, so the light remains, right. and any time it ends or moves into it during its turn, it mm -hmm, takes mm -hmm. that radiant damage. It takes good. more radiant damage. Good stuff, good stuff. Cool. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, she sort of like looks at Alexi and is like, Any anything else? Anything else you need me to do? Uh, to just, just keep hitting it with things. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold it in place. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, good. Uh, first things first. Lexi's it starts <laughs> waking up again. Okay, in its face. Oh, watch out! It undulates and moves around. Uh, has not left your range. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah. Milo, what's your AC? Oh dear. Thirteen. Three. Bollocks. All right, never mind. Um, but it hoiks up and launches another glob- globule of spit. Oh, no. uh, one, two, three. Milo, may wait. Alexi, I need uh, oh, saving throws. I just all stopped you, being oh, blind. I was enjoying well, not being throws. blind. DC 13, if you get save. blind, you go mad. I'm just there with a fucking fire torch. Like. Pass. Uh, <laughs> 16, pass. So. Deck save. Deck save. Sorry, one second. Uh, 13. 13 saves, just. Oh yes, no, that'll be that'll be fine. It was a deck save, right? Yes. Fifty. Uh, Fifteen. Fourteen. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> this time, all three of anticipating it. One, two, three. <laughs> Sticks, globules, and you notice some of the floor underfoot is still feeling very, very sticky underneath. Um, cool. That's its turn. Uh, Alexi. Uh, Alexi. Make a wisdom saving throw, please. Shit. <laughs> Thirteen. Fat pass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Alexi will uh, sort of like duck under this globule of spit and just like stab his rapier up into the thing sure. because there's not really much else I can do. Um, that is a 18. Uh, 18 hits. Great. Let's throw some fucking damage. Okay. Oh, that's that's all right. Um, okay, so we've got uh, eight points of piercing damage, which will be reduced to four, four yep. and four points of radiant damage. Cool. All right. So uh, Alexi will just stab under and the sort of golden light from his rapier will just kind of light up inside this thing. Good as gold. Just give it a bit of a... Nice light show. All right. Lovely stuff. All right. Cool. Anything else you want to do? Uh, no, he is going to hold his ground. Good stuff. May wait, you're up. Oh, okay. Um, isn't Big Monster's turn after Myla's? No, yeah. It, 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 oh, it just didn't. It was just spitting okay, the thing. Cool. Um, I will turn around and run over to engage. And I will uh, attempt to hit said thing. I will jump over and come down with the flail. Great. Uh, and I will hit with 19. 19 hits. Cool. Uh, D8. That is a one. Excellent. Um, Great job. One second. <laughs> Quiet you. Uh, D8 plus four, so five. And then um, I will unleash incarnation, and my echo will also attack. Go for it. With its flail. Five. Uh, plus six. Wait, yeah. Plus six. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. To hit. Points of, to hit. To oh hit. yeah, to hit. Yeah. Cool. And damage. Uh, I just said it as well. Uh, ten points of damage from the echo. Great. Uh, action surge. Do it again. Okay. <laughs> you you watch as Mayway flies herself Fuck. over and almost in sync with that natural one with a third one. Okay. So, so one, two, the second one. Mrs. Clean yeah, a little through, bit too, because I'm also kind of watching bit. this thing happen <laughs> for the first time. And kind of, yeah. Great. All right. Um, D22, your feelings subside. What would you like to do? I don't know why I'm running. Just turn around and fire. Fuck off. Six. Plus? Nothing, well, nothing. I'm wisdom, wisdom. Is it wisdom? I'm doing. No, no, no. You're wait, wait. You're not doing a saving throw. You're you're fine. So I'm not. Oh, okay. no, 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 it's it's one off. It was a one turn thing. Beautiful. Cool. Wonderful. Yeah, what right. would you like to do? I'm gonna go firebolt, please. Absolutely. Firebolt at my main man. Uh, Don't hit a Yeah. <laughs> oh, butter my ass. Um, <laughs> eight. Miss. Um, and my bonus though. Uh, I would please like to activate um, my cannon to fire off because I think I can do that within 60 feet of it. Uh, I believe that is the magic case. Item. Yes, and it should be right near where my, fr- where my friends are still. Is it any light that hurts? What do you mean? Light seems to hurt. Is it any light? Um, so, uh, are we doing 
So each of your turns, you can take a bonus action to cause the cannon to activate if you're within 60 so feet. Yeah, so at the moment it's in the protector mode, right? so I don't know if you're shooting it's anything because it's currently in. Yeah, yeah, it just means oh, okay. that it's, it's not. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like my shield is also. So you would need to you would need to take an action to change it. Oh, no, but can I use it in protector mode still? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what I'd yeah, like yeah, to do. Cool, so cool. I'd ideally give my friends some um, HP. Okay, great. So you can't stack on more, but who who hears who hears? Does anyone take any damage? Uh, I've taken three points of damage. Does anyone else have temporary hit points? I don't have eight temporary hit points. Temporary yeah, points. you do, you do. I uh, roll a d8 for Alexi, so then he gets some temporary hit points on top. Yeah. And so you get d8, you get two plus six, so cool. eight. Ah, uh, Sasuke, you also get an extra eight temporary hit points. I get eight. You get eight as well. Yeah, thank you. Within sixty feet. Cheers, homie. <laughs> uh, do you want to move and get closer, or are you happy back there? I'm going to come I'm closer so again, yeah, please. As close as possible to can that turn. <laughs> you want to hit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you need to get right up in there. Aww. In fact, I'd take that back slightly, can I move back? Yeah, you're about to. Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. All right, top of initiative. Saskia. Right. Fuck the short bow. Um, she's going to pop out from hiding and just leg it towards this thing, and she's just going to jump and just bring this light torch down on it and just smash it around its numerous heads. And just sure. Fucking... Make make just a straight d20 attack roll for me, please. That's not a d20. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Plus your strength. No. Nine. Nine heads. Oh, <laughs> sick. Uh, cool, roll 2d6 fire damage, please. And I'm gonna make a... Oh, sick, 11. So you do 11 points of damage, nice. and very quickly, and as you look closer, now that you guys are all up against it, drive it to flesh and blood and bone, and whoosh, it catches a light. Yes. Nice. Yes. Good. Yeah. Cool. Um, top of initiative now, can you just remind me on... Oh, sorry, not top. Uh, with a moonbeam. Yep. Is it the start of your turn it takes more damage now? So it won't, because it's out of my moonbeam, which is only five feet. Right. Which was, like, over there. Yeah. But the all I'm going to do is just move it. So yeah, sure, sure, sure. No um, concept for me, or uh, no? So I think I don't. Hang on, let me just check. This. So, um, do 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 do. Can move it. So I think I need to wait. Maybe I will just basically I just move it there, and then it's on its turn. It'll take the damage. Okay, good stuff. Uh, can you make a wisdom saving throw for me, please? Yes. <laughs> You're good at those. Don't say that as I roll. Do you know what happens when you do that? You get? One. You got a natural one? Yeah. Right. Roll a d8 for me, please. Shit. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Seven. Seven. Uh, choose your weapon. Choose your weapon. Uh, Alexi or Mayway? Alexi and Mayway? Alexi or Mayway, make a choice. Who's. Roll a d6. Yeah. I was going to say with, like who's standing in front of me, but like, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a one. <laughs> Soz. Cool. Uh, I need you to it's make fine. an attack roll against uh, Mayway, please, with your shillelagh. Oh no, I'm oh, very sorry. Oh, what's, no. oh, what, you hitting her on the way through? Yeah. Oh, it's bad. Yeah. It's what, bad. Uh, 22. That so hits. you're about <laughs> to attack the creature instead, you sort of stop and you hit it. <laughs> You turn and look, and her eyes are glazed over a little bit as she, you smack Mayway straight across the face. Oh, you look like a creepy flesh monster to me at the moment. You instantly snap out of it the moment you hit Mayway, but you realise what you've done. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Damage? Um, you... How much damage is that? Uh, let me see. Um... For a whack. Oh, you're so lucky. Um, I've got temporary hit points as well. I have five points damage. I rolled the lowest I possibly could. <laughs> cool. Cool. That's your turn? Yep. That, Apparently. Yeah, yeah that is, that is your turn. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, and I'll let you know on its... Oh, it's its turn next anyway, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. So it immediately takes the uh, radiant damage then. Cool. Uh, do I need to make a con save? Uh, I don't know if you do it each time, presumably. I failed anyway, so okay, cool. damage is it? It is... Oh, 13. 13. Nice. 13 damage. Yeah. All right, it's looking pretty hurt at this point. Um, right, first thing it's going to do is it's going to take another massive chunk out of you. Oh, good. Yeah. That's going to be a 14 plus 2, 16 to hit. Yeah, it hits. I've got some temporary hit points. It's fine. It's fine. It's all yes. good. 
temporary hit points. Due to me to be dishing out Thank you. temporary hit points. And I've got one shape, so <laughs> we can always duck into a rack if necessary. We're good. <laughs> yeah, gone. <laughs> What was it? Snow so leopard? it leans itself up and the big mouth chomps down on you for 22 points of piercing damage. Oh my oh, god! I need you to make a uh, strength saving throw as well, please. Uh, I probably also need to make a constitution save Jesus. on my... Um, yeah, I need a DC 11 con- concentration check. Please. Yeah. Cool, one sec. Sorry, it's just damage. two. Yeah, yeah, that's a big one. Okay, so first of all, um, nom, nom, strength save. Yeah, nom, Sorry? Nom. So first of all, strength save. Strength saving throw, please. Oh my god. Myla finally going down. Uh, that is no. 10. Succeed. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, right, 10, was, then, 10 was a save on that. Con but, say, uh, constru- uh, concentration save. Uh, DC 11. Cool. Yeah, made 13. Cool, good as gold. But you guys watch as it's chomping and chomping. And as you're watching, a second mouth comes on. <laughs> One, two, three, and you four to please make dexterity saving throws or be blinded. Oh. DC 13 is the check that you need to make. Oh, sick. Those four are all. And uh, you. are fine. Oh, okay. you're fine. Yeah. I'm outside 19. as well. Oh! No, you as well. Am I <laughs> save. Can I advantage on my hand? You can, I? yes. I rolled a three, so. Fail, blinded. Yeah. Fuck, Great. 10 is the best I got. Failed. 12. Failed. Is it, um, what's, what's the check? Is it, um, what's the actual Dexterity. Check? Dexterity, dexterity saving throw. Oh, um. 13. 13, succeed. Okay, oh, so. Shit. My hat. Myla screams in both pain at having large chunk taken out of her and also she's blind again. All of the above, very bad. It's not, not looking fat. good. Cool. Uh, that's its turn. Alexi, you're up. Uh, very little he actually can do besides to just kind of stab the rapier in and just try and rend this thing. Sure, go for it. Uh, 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 19. 19 hits. Okay. Mm. Uh, with the reduction, um, that is going to be five piercing damage and four radiant damage. Cool. Still looking pretty bad. It's undulating, it's chomping on my way. Yeah. Anything else you want to do? Uh, more that. It, oh, the... wisdom saving through it, please. Sorry, I need to remember to ask this. Uh, f- nine. Sorry, I'm going to undo that. I should have asked for that. So, okay, uh, that's fine. So you do nothing in your turn. You stand there in shock <laughs> watching the oh. Cool, that's your turn over. Um, Mayway. Uh, okay. Uh, you are uh, blinded. Great. Love that for me. It's right in front of you. Cool. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It was, I, already, I knew where it was. So I'm going to just uh, swing forward with the flail, mm-hmm, hoping mm-hmm. that I hit because it's cool. big and in front of me. Disadvantage, please. Oh, uh, no, it's got lots of ways. Disadvantage, please. Oh, it's a natural one. Natural one misses. It, it does indeed, but because I took the attack action, I can unleash our incarnation Absolutely again. You can, yeah. So this time, the echo will attack. It's got disadvantage. 13. 13, two hits. 13s. 13 hits. Fabulous, cool. Uh, D8. 8. Nice. Plus um, 6. 14. So 14 points of damage. Cool. I, and. Can you just make a wisdom save for me first, please? Uh, but, uh, yeah, I know, I know. I need to remove it at the start. I do I do it with disadvantage or something? No, no, just straight roll. <laughs> Probably Jesus not. Christ. Four. Four. Same as Alexi. Sorry. That's, um, that's on me. You don't do anything that turn. Okay, but I still have my extra unleashing incarnation. You then. have your extra unleashing okay. inc- incarnation. So we'll take the damage, but there's nothing else on there. Cool. cool. <sighs> All um, right. Wait, I can't do anything else. You can't do anything Shit. else. No. Okay, fine. Right. It's looking hurt, but bad on both sides. Uh, right, that's the turn. Uh, D22, you're up. Right, would I be, uh, it might be a reach. Can I magically tinker with my hat and give it the ability um, of, le- of letting out a sound? A constant meeeeee Yeah, 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 yeah. monkeys could absolutely do that. Then I'm gonna guide it straight in to him to stick in him and just ring the sound out loud so my blind companions will be able to trace him by sound. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, no, I like that a lot. The human killer's like, okay! Cool, make an attack call. Uh, with your dexterity, please. Uh, straight, Dex straight. Is low anyway, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Does it look like the monster's 13. wearing a hat? 13, 13 hits. Uh, 1d8 plus your dexterity. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> 1d8 plus my dex. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, fuck. One. Rubbish. Plus. My dexterity is zero. Uh, no, no, it's, it's not. Three, it's three, it's three. three. So, so four yeah, damage. Four, four. four damage. Slashing. So you do a little bit and then a ringing, and the ringing appears to drown out the rest of the noise. 
and suddenly you'll snap too. And you'll feel a lot better. You're still uh, blind, but at this point, things are looking a, little, a lot better for you. Top of initiative, Saskia. You do not have to make a wisdom oh, saving throw. Okay, I still got the fire torch. Fire torch. Uh, I'm going to say that you jammed it into one of the mouths, so you're not holding the fire torch anymore. Exactly. It's on fire, and it will take. Oh, damage okay, to start I turn. see. Yeah. Um, well, uh, short sword then. Cool. Go for it with not advantage because it's surrounded. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, 19 plus 6, 25. Ooh, so close, net 20. Yeah, that hits, that absolutely hits. Perfect. Uh, so 3d6, so you've got your normal and your sneak attack on that as well. Uh, 2, 6, 1, 9, nine plus, plus 4. Plus 4, 13. Yeah. Yep, cool, so that takes us down to... Great. It's looking really, really hurt. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? Um... There's nothing much I can't. No. 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 Okay. Cool. The ringing goes on, drowning out the what? What the would be the laughs? Uh, Myla. Uh, cool. Myla uh, is going to suddenly kind of crouch down into the form of a panther. Um, <laughs> wow, wasn't as good. No, it wasn't no, as good. I'm sorry. But oh well. <laughs> um, and <laughs> she. <laughs> 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 um, like a and is going to kind of like, she st still can't see, so she's sort of going to like back around a little bit just behind Alexi. <laughs> sure. <Aww. laughs> just, uh, just kind of like crouching. I'm just going to get a check of opportunity shit, against you. Um, you were in melee, you said you're backing behind, so yeah. you're stepping out. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. She's, she's, She's uh, worried. First, I need a strength check from you, please. Yes. To see because it's, it's sticky around. It's it's much better being a panther than a Milo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sixteen. Yeah, yeah fine, no, no problem. Cool. And I'm just gonna make an attack roll against you. Uh, it's a sixteen, which does that hit. Does hit. Six, nine, fourteen. Oh nope, that's all my panther points. What? <laughs> You turn and you try oh, to step away, instantly. and the Gibbering Arthur immediately chomps you. Immediately killing the panther and the ring, like four hit points traveling over to. Uh, so, 30, so how many did it do total? Uh, it did 15, I believe. Oh, so there's only two hit points travel over to me then. Okay, it's got cool. 13 hit points Sorry. as a panther. Well, anyway, that's a lot. <laughs> that 13 hit points absorbed, so that's yeah. nice. Cool. Um, you can still get away with it, so. Yeah, yeah, cool. So I'm. That's fine. Like, <laughs> Um, no idea where anything is. Uh, do I presumably need to make a cons con save again on Moonbeam? Um, yes, yes, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 19. 19? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Cool. Cool. Um, all right, Alexi, still... Oh, no, sorry. Big voice time. Which, uh. guess what that means? <laughs> it has to do a con save. It does. Or it's gonna get some radiant damage. Moonbeam. Natural nine. Yep, yeah, no, absolutely not. Plus three, not. so it's twelve. No, it's fourteen. Cool, I'll do it. Two d ten. Come on. Oh wow. Yeah, Moonbeam. Yeah, moon I literally think you need moon like less than ten. <gasps> Seventeen. <Whoa>. Yes, <laughs> that's got to be dead. <laughs> it's so you step away, you fall better. back, but you manage to hold on. It slips away for a second. The moonbeam intensifies and it starts to glow. What happens next? Uh, I think like she just kind of like really, really concentrates and it just, this incredibly bright light comes down on it and this thing just shrieks and squeals as this radiant light kind of burns through it and starts to kind of just rend all of the bits of flesh apart into this horrible little gooey mess. The like laughter it. turns to scream. <laughs> and Why must you make that nice. noise? <laughs> it's monsters. Why is monster noise? And it melts away. And it's baby and suddenly, you guys feel safe. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> is, is everyone all right? No. Uh -huh. No. no. I think I shut can my we pants. Can I see again? After about five seconds or so, it just sort of drips oh. out. It's stuck. It's gunk. It's like caught in your nose and in, in every crevice of your eyes. Maybe I just wipes all the crap away from her face. Ah. You too. Come back. <laughs> yes, sir. Sorry. Aww. <laughs> just nestles his bum on your head a little bit and just slips in it. The little shadow is kind of bouncing on the spot like a like a kid with too much sugar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Mary frowns. Those, those that uh, need to uh, sit down and take a second to do what you must, uh, I, I'm going to have a look around. 
Yes, same Maya's here. Maya's going to just gently slide her back down the wall. Like, just like... <laughs> just so sit on the floor. It's light again, so there's a bit more light. Sure. Scooches down towards this end, just so we can see the entire space. Uh, Alexi will give Myla his healing potion. Oh, you don't need to do that. I've got, I've got my own things. You're still going to offer it. Um, I oh, it's all I can, I can do. It. You, I just are you sure you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need a minute. Right. I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Um, I go winded. Sorry. Shut up. <laughs> uh, I got to go to D20. Uh, goes to his cannon in the middle as well and whips it up by one leg. And it comes back down into his arm. Uh, Mayway's just going to circle the shadow and take in the differences. Sure. Um, Alexi's gonna check out the husk. The, the the dead body on the ground? Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. You make your way over. Um, make an investigation check. Uh, 11. 11. So, yeah, you, you, you look it over and you recognize this being the body and the armor and the symbols of the cleric, but very much drained. Um, if you're looking specifically for any sort of vampiric marks, no, there's no sign of a bite. It looks like whatever happened here caused to become that smaller creature you guys fought earlier just now. Um, any other signs of uh, like identification, things like that? Uh, no, no, not, nothing nothing really. Um, it's, it's a symbol of Arathus. Um, hmm. I'll take the symbol. <laughs> no, as there's no weapon, no shield, the body is completely unarmed as you can see. In my experience, would it be unusual to find a priest of Arathis in the Temple of the Raven Queen? Uh, it's not common. Hmm. Yeah, definitely taking the symbol for evidence of sure. throwing your back. And as you sort of touch, the body starts to like turn and crumble into dust. Until there's tunic and the little bit of metal garments are left behind. Right. Uh, continue in the exploration, probably check out the other room as well. Great. Yeah, is there anything over there by the pit of blood? <laughs> Make an investigation check, Tom. <laughs> the pit of doom. The pit, pit of, of doom. doom. Pit of death. How long does temporary hit points last for? Nine. Nine? Until your long rest. Like, Two um, long rest, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. until. Oh. Or oh. until the turn after, if you're me. So, <laughs> with, with a nine, you don't find much. You find a few, a couple of coins and bits and pieces from whatever other bodies were in here. Um, but sort of tucked away in the corner, you do find three diamonds. Oh, sick. <laughs> <laughs> Which I you really find. What, Cheryl, where did, you just, where did you just go? Near the pit, was it? Yeah, but I've done. I've looked at all that, so don't worry, there's no more. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I look at these illustrious-looking bookshelves on the right there? Sure, the guys, there. sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't resist a good scavenge. <laughs> Uh, investigation or investigation check. Uh, 15 15 with the 15 um, you do manage to find about 8 golds about 50 silver not not much just smatterings of coins that have been left in here looks like these were gifts or things to be left buried with the dead um, just so you know what you're, what you're taking um, but you also find a scroll beautiful cool may I open and read uh, you can guys I have found a scroll would you like Nothing to get set fire to that earlier <laughs> Alexi, you seem to be very bossy and in command of this particular mission. Would you like to look at the scroll? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yes, please. Take a look at it. Yeah, sure. What is it? Uh, make an investigation check. Oh, no, can check, sorry. <coughs> uh, ten. Uh, okay. You don't really know. Uh, I, I, not my field, I'm afraid. I'm not uh, really sure. Uh, here, see if you can make sense of it. Uh, you can make an arcana check. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Oh, arcana's good as well. Uh, 13. 13. But the 13, um, you sort of like make out some of the runes and see it's a spell scroll of mage armor. You all right? <laughs> you all right yeah, no, I just was drinking water as he said that, and mage armor is a fucking spell. Yeah. Actually... None of us can use it though, can we? No, we're all armored. <coughs> <laughs> Fuck. Right, um, yeah, I'd <coughs> spend the time making sure the room is clear, looking for any, um, mm-hmm. anything else that's sort of like odd, standing out, maybe any sign of where these things came from. No, uh, I mean, make an investigation check if you want, yeah, for sure. <coughs> Thanks. <coughs> um. Eight. Oh, shit. <laughs> you look around, but you do notice there are no other dead bodies at all, except for the 
fresher, now dusty one that was that was there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, Mayway. Um, Mayway will dismiss the echo and look around to see if there's anywhere else that needs investigating. And if so, I'll take that corner, pull out the investigator's notebook, and spend ten minutes having a rummage around. Yeah, but sure. if there isn't, then fine. You're welcome to do a check and see if there's anything around. Is there a section that hasn't been looted? I mean, the, the corner around where the Alexi is hasn't really been investigated yet. Okay. Uh, with advantage, then? Uh, yeah, sure. Ha, natural 20 and a natural nice. 1. Nice. Mm. Thank you, Good. Advantage. Well done. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you find... I've rolled so many natural ones. So, today. in similar sort of containers that D22 we found down, particularly the gear behind the fallen column, this looks like it hadn't been touched as much. You find two more diamonds. Uh, 50 Ooh. gold. Um, 11 silver and a small cask of cider which has been quite caught. <laughs> Mayway and alcohol, best friends forever. <laughs> so, conscious of time, so what would you like to do next? Uh, he will head back to the door and just knock. Immediately you hear the rumble and the shuffling as it flies open and you see the matron and... <coughs> Pardon. Oh! Quite okay then. Heard a bit of a commotion. Yes, there was a, <sighs> an aberration. Oh, oh. Sort. Right. And he's is going, everyone okay? He's going to hold out the symbol of Arathis. Oh, yes. Well, we haven't had the sources to have our own clerics to come and clear it out. So, they were the only ones willing to do it at a fair price. Unfortunately, he's fallen. Thank you. We will inform his family in his temple. Can I get you anything? You all look haggard. Please, you're welcome to stay here and rest for this evening. I'm, I'm sure you are quite tired. That was his god. Have quarters prepared. We'll sleep in our separate rooms. Very good, very good. I've sent word to the magistrate and we've kept our discretion. What have you said to the magistrate? You requested... Did you not? No. Using the funds? I said that you should keep it between us. It's a Matt confusion, not a character confusion. Because I've said nothing to the magistrate. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Genuine confusion on my part. Apologies. Genuine horror on my part. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we're moving. We're, we're done. We're done. <laughs> we're moving. No, no communication has been sent. So that's, that's my bad. That's on me. Great. Uh, cool. But yes, we'll, we'll send up quarters. Um, thank you for this. We'll send in, in several priests and acolytes coming and start cleaning and mopping up um, the blood and everything else. And you're shown to quarters and food is brought to you. Before we go to quarters... Um, she wants to go see what that silver ball is because she's been really interested. What's that? Yeah, this? It's yeah. oh, like a little skull, skull, isn't it? Oh, it's a skull from the back yeah. here. Does it look like a silver sphere? Yeah. Uh, make an investigation check if you want. I'd love to. <laughs> 18, it's the best I've rolled all night. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you come over and you look and it's it looks like skull. it's 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 the cast of a skull of uh, a long dead kenku of a crow person, similar to one of the ones you saw a couple of weeks oh, ago. An ornamental bit to be put on a gravesite. Oh, okay. That's been sort of polished and left there and obviously neglected while monsters came in. It is very pretty. You could take it if you really wanted. Nah, I'm alright, thanks mate. Okay. <laughs> right, well very good. I will leave you to your devices. Um, We'll discuss things later. I'm sure you need plenty of time to rest. And... Mayway's drinking side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, do uh, alert me when the... Uh, lost the fucking word when the ceremony is prepared. Of course, of course. Um, we'll let you... Uh, tomorrow. It's not, not today. We'll, we'll take care. Excellent, and we shall speak more then. Very good, very good. I think another storm's coming through, so do bundle up. Make sure you're feeling okay. Good. Uh, good night. And she walks good away night. and leaves you to your devices, and the evening is yours, as you see fit. Maybe it starts offering the cider bottle around. Mm. Yeah, same. Ancient nice. cider. Ancient oh. cider. <laughs> no, it's good. Hates it's fresh. It. Saskia hates it. Mana? What? What's wrong? It seems like it's not good. No, it is. It's just she doesn't like apples. Try. Okay. You no. Know. Okay. I, I think Mana it's fine. takes it. And I think it's fine. It. How is it? How's the cider? How's the cider? Shit. You know what? It's actually right. It feels it's aged a little bit. It, you know, it's not <laughs> everyone's taste. It's oh, okay. It's right. not the best cider you've ever it, had. It's, it's all right. It's, it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Do you want to try? Yes, I'll try. He kind of swishes it back in what would be his mouth it, and on his head a little bit. It, it leaks out from the joints underneath and just like spices across and you're a bit sticky. Noted. Mm. Lexi? Uh, no, no. I mean, I mean, Mr. Carstairs? Yeah, but... Sir? 
the, the, I, I, I find Lord. the concept of taking Lord from the t- I am trying to respond. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir, my lord. No, I find the concept of taking from the temple profoundly disturbing. Oh. d oh. 2 is putting that skull into his inside pocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have a kinku skull. I have a, a silver question. kinku skull. Yep. Alexi, what's going to happen to these people when someone from your family comes to c- collect money that they don't have to give them? This particular tithe... Well, they will say that a cast of came and gave them instruction to uh, use it for the restoration of the church. If they have a problem with that... They'll kill them all? No. No. Oh, they okay. cannot afford any uh, diplomatic incidents between the temple and my house. Instead, it is more, more likely that they will uh, ask a lot of questions and soon figure out that it is me. However... We're going to have to find whichever family member of mine has seemingly abandoned his post. Abel. Yes. Jinx. Still not a name I'm familiar with. But perhaps we can find something out and uh, while we're here, they will... Well, they will provide you with what you need as if you were one of my household. However, I strongly advocate against uh, referring to me by my first name uh, or doing anything that would be considered uh, crass, untoward, uh, disrespectful. Like this? And I grab his cheek. Uh, Yes, I believe we cut off hands for that. (laughs) Noted. Yes, I strongly advise only doing that behind closed doors. Uh, And uh, yes. Good side. Well, uh. Strong. I guess attend this ceremony and see I'm probably wasting my time here. I don't know. Was there not a service we were going to today? Not That's the tomorrow. Tomorrow. The ceremony yes, tomorrow. Yes, I lost the word. <laughs> I I don't know. I, I, w- I would like if we can potentially track down this family member of mine. I, I, I'd like to find out what's happening despite my Exile, which I strongly advise that no one mentions. Um, I, I, well, we all still have a duty, and we need. I mean, I need to get to Milford or whatever. It's, yeah, Milford. it's on the way. All right. Um, what was the point of going to the ceremony again? I, I, I wish to. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I want to try and understand why this thing happened to me. What, what this gift is, what it entails, right. how to better understand it. I can now do a new thing with my sword, which is odd. I, it's never done that before. The glowing? Yes. Yeah. It, normally it's um, as electricity, but this is, uh, it's not fire. It doesn't, it's not warm. But Well, I can do new things now that I couldn't do before I've met all of you. Yeah, me too. I think it's because all of you are having a very good effect on me. It's positive over there. It's just growth. It's just growth. We're learning. We're growing, I and guess. And we have more money. Changing. Yes, um, I suppose. Nothing else changed? No? All right. <laughs> Great. May I ask you something? Yes? What? You Back uh, when, when we were fighting uh, your, well, former... I. You, I don't know the word. Um, you were separated from your staff. Oh, yeah. And you were more or less inconsolable. Oh. Yeah, I don't like having... I, mm, yeah, uh, it's horrible having my staff taken away from me. Really don't like it. Yes, but why? I mean, I have a, I have a very fond... Well, you know, I hit things with it a lot. It's exactly the same, yeah. I don't believe you're telling me the truth. I really like having my staff on me. Do I believe her? I mean, I don't even need to say I want to roll an inside check. Alexi just doesn't. Yeah, fine. fine. But I've never seen anyone react in such a way to a weapon before. Do you draw your power from the staff? Uh, 
I think maybe some of it, like a sort of, it's like, um, it's how I sort of remember where I'm from and where I, but I can do some things without it. I can. Is it from one of your family members? No. Is so it what would happen Smith? if I take it? No. Hmm? What, what would happen if I take it from you? Well, it would mean I can away. do some of the stuff that I can do. Um, it would just be a bit inconvenient. Um, but I could do some things. I'd, I'd be able to turn into animals. I'd, um, yeah, there's, there's some things I can still do. But it would, you know, I wouldn't be as um, helpful as I am otherwise. Well, clearly some sen sentimental value then. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, it's all like, it's the thing I've always had that always does that, yeah. Well, I, I, I appreciate that we are uh, taking the time to stop here and help them. Uh, it, it, it means a lot to me, so th thank you. You need to fix that roof. Yeah, you should do that tomorrow. <laughs> and figure out why this place is so dilapidated. Well, it sounds like your cousin's 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 cousin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, second or third, I, 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 I forget. Him. Um, he has just not been doing his job, right? Yes, he has taken half a year of funds and disappeared. Now, I, I, I might have a particularly um, venomous feelings towards my brother and sisters, but a cast out does their duty. We do not, even in exile, and there have not been many of us exiled. I'm the third, I believe. What were the others exiled for? Ah, uh, that's a long story. I'll tell you one day. Um, we still do our duty. We, we, we are. We serve the duchy, and the duchy serves us. It's. We, we're rulers. We always have been. You seem very loyal to it, given that they kicked you out, and these, they seem to have kind of made your life a bit miserable. As, uh, as you're discussing this, a couple of servants come in and say, uh, your rooms are prepared. Um, if we could show you them to them now. Are they individual? No, they are individual. They're all private, yes. And uh, some of our dry rooms. Yes. Your aides have done a great service as well. So are we in like a dining hall or something? Uh, or? At this point, yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah, I mean, no one else. Dining, dining really hall. Like yeah. Around, yeah. yeah. Um, then Alex, you just go, uh, bring a... Jug of wine, I shall remain here. Uh, those of you who wish you are now uh, relieved of your services for the rest of the evening. I'll happily show you to your rooms now. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Alexi will just pour himself some wine and stay. Alexi drinks, and the rest of you are shown to your rooms mm -hmm. as I'll the stay storm. Down. I'll well. get yeah, upstairs. Cool. <laughs> I'm fine. God, again. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Such a liability. I'm fine this time. God damn it. So, so then I just go, fine, you're fine. I let it go. You just go, mm. <laughs> Like, you said you were fine. From the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> fine. You look so tall from down here. <laughs> 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 Evening comes as you drink and the rest of you sort of retire for the night. Mm. Sounds good. Sleep. Sleep doesn't really come for you. Very no. much. <laughs> it never does. It never does. <laughs> it never does. Instead of these dreams you've been having, these recurring, the same faces just see, keep seeming flashing in and out, and the same face of Borisol, and then your father sort of appearing in your mind, and you can't shake the feeling that something doesn't quite feel right. You wake up, look out, and after yesterday, the thunder feels slightly soothing. You hear the old pipes running through leaking outside. What's going through your head? Just, she's been away from home for a long while now. She doesn't really know how long and she's never really given much thought to who she's really left behind. She mm. thought it was for the best of everyone. And I think she's pretty shaken up um, seeing Borisov yesterday and 
the lightning was a cool trick, but she doesn't... She, she left home because she wanted to find out more and now she feels like that's... Maybe it was preemptive, maybe she should have hung about longer or whether... What is her duty? Does she have a duty to her family? Um, you know, to her mum especially, but, you know, the rest of her family are... She grew up with them. She doesn't feel like she's one of them. Mm. So... Um, so she's sort of just, yeah, pacing the room and just not knowing what the best thing to do is. She just, she's in two minds. Some whistling outside. She's just... As a, as a groundskeeper is happily working in the room. <laughs> you, you watch them pace back and forth, carrying body and unloading. Mm -hmm. Just looking happy and then you see the lightning flashing down the south to where you are actually from, Katie. <laughs> and you look and you see the roads and you see the thunder and right now there's two ways it could go. You feel those strange trickles in the back of your neck mm. pick up again. Yeah, fingertips start to feel electric. She kind of feels like um, something is, is sort of stirring. Mm. And she doesn't know what it is, but she needs to know because it's sort of, sort of there. And... and you look to the horizon then as a dark cloud looms over top. You grab your pack. And do you click your fingers? She, she, she waits. She waits. And then there's one more lightning strike. And she, as soon as that strikes, she makes a decision and she clicks. You click, the bolt <laughs> grabs you and you vanish from the room. And that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. <laughs> <sighs> cool. Sorry, it's getting on a bit for time. And some story stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some kind of sick thunder girl or something. <laughs> thunder girl! <laughs> thunder girl! Thunder girl. Save, it. <laughs> yeah. save it. Save it, save it, save uh, it. But yeah, thank you so much. Getting on a bit. A lot of fun today. Yeah. Uh, really yeah. Lovely. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers for checking out Who Lives Dice. All right. Bye, 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 bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. I do so love the flavour of, of unbranded water. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing quite gets me through a long D and D session like unbranded water. Exactly. We all know that's vodka. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs>